What's up, everyone? This is Soji Talk, your weekly shot of K-pop. We're coming at you with a super spicy episode 256, and we're recording on October 30th, 2023. I'm Doug, and joining me today, we got Warren. How you doing, folks? And Anita. <laughs> Hello. As a quick reminder, check out Soju Talk on your favorite podcast platform, sub to us on YouTube, and join the Soju Talk Discord and be a part of the nation. So if you're watching this episode on the day it comes out, it is Halloween here in America. Um, <laughs> probably Halloween. People celebrate all over the place uh, these days. But um, yeah, so I am uh, <laughs> doing a cosplay of a former member of the crew, Hot Take Harold. He has not been seen in like two years. I dug up wow. his corpse and I got his items oh. and I'm wearing them. <laughs> yes. Corpse? Are you saying he's canonically dead? He might be. Uh, what are oh, you, man. Warren? Anita had no uh, clue what you were. She thought you were a plumber. I, I am a uh, coach Ted Lasso from the hit Apple TV show Ted Lasso. Uh, that was my favorite TV show in a long time. So, uh, yeah. What 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 team <laughs> is it in the in the in the show? It's uh, so it's a team called AFC Richmond, yeah, they but made it's it based off, right? off of yeah. Crystal Palace. Crystal yeah. Palace, okay, cool. Yeah. Mm. Um, in the after hours today, we are going to be doing a Halloween candy. Is it a tier list or a World Cup one? Uh, tier list today. Tier list. Oh, I love tier list. Okay, we're doing a tier list for <laughs> Halloween candy. I have very strong opinions about this, guys. So oh, please clearly, stick yeah. around for that. Um, big new uh, releases. I might. Mm. We have four songs again. Um. Dude, these glasses, they're literally just painted on. I can't see. So the, the, the four <laughs> songs we got today, we have La Seraphim Perfect Night, which is a collaboration with Overwatch 2. Uh, we have Rise Talk Saxy, which is their like first comeback ever, technically, right, I believe. We have mm-hmm. Niziu's Korean debut with Hartress. It's apparently a, a play on Heart and Tetris, so it's Hartress. And then yes. Taemin... Uh, made his return from the military with Guilty. Uh, but let's start at the top. Le Seraphim, Perfect Night. This is a collaboration track with Overwatch 2. They are from Source. Last three tracks were Eve Psyche and the Bluebeard's Wife, Unforgiven, Anti-Fragile. Uh, Le Seraphim, Overwatch 2, they're doing a collab. Uh, they're coming to BlizzCon, which is Blizzard, the mm-hmm. people who make that game. They have a convention every year, so they're going to be there. Wow. Um, they're collabing with La Seraphim, and there will be a special performance on November 4th. They're all also adding skins to the game that are La Seraphim based. For oh. like the girls you see in the music video, the characters like Sombra, you had Diva, uh, you had Brig, yes. you had oh. Tracer. And they even have one, um, there's a Junkrat one too. There's a guy skin too. So yeah. Wait. So I'm playing as the characters. Not I'm not playing as Che Won. No, no, I'm not playing not. as Sakura. <laughs> no, no, it's more like they took the characters, gave them like La Seraphim outfits, like the Fearless line. You know how they have oh. that. Uh, so they're yeah. So you you still playing like the same characters. But, Remember yeah. when like Sudden Attack used to collab with K-pop artists? And it would literally be a model play. of them, right? Yeah. Right. I could play as Hyuna. I could play as Jessica of Girl Generation. No, like, you know this what I mean? is more like, like there's like inspired by the La Seraphim vibe. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot less exciting. That being said, like, yeah, Overwatch 2 is a dead <laughs> game at the moment. Like, Really? Blizzard, as you know, they had a lot of problems uh, at the company because of, like, mm-hmm. uh, sexual harassment yeah, allegations last year. And then they are kind of been money grabbing. Like, I was super hyped for Diablo 4, and it was just a big money grab. The game wasn't that good in the end game. And Overwatch 2, they canceled the Pro League. Like, it's not it's doing too well. Up. So they got to clap on the Seraphim <laughs> to get you to play the game. Um, what kind of song is this, Warren? This uh, um, Perfect Night song. The Seraphim's Perfect Night, right? It's a pop R&B track. It's pretty chill. It's not too high energy. It's pretty low key. There's some trap drums pulled in um, mm. to give it more of this uppy kind of vibe. It's a little slow. Not gonna lie. It's, it sits at around 130, 140 tempo uh, BPM. Um, but there's it's a nice, chill, mm. nice chill guitar riff playing throughout the entire track. Um, we can talk more about the production in a minute. But that's that's basically the track. It's pretty chill, pretty easy going. But not like Cupid, not like some of the other stuff we've been seeing in a while, right? Like, no, that's, that's no, no, a little no. different. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. Doug, did you like it? Yeah, dude. This is good. This is a nice song. <laughs> this is a vibe, man. Mm. Vibe I was song. playing Baldur's Gate 3 all week, and, like, I was slaying zombies and goblins and stuff. I was vibing out the perfect night, dude. Like, <laughs> this is a good song. I enjoyed this dude, one tonight. thoroughly. Um, You're killing zombies tonight. Okay. This is one of those songs that's not too hype, but I still think it's fun. And I, I like, before you guys get to it, the choreography really helped out the song, I thought. Some of the choreo shots we got in the practice room. I really, oh, yeah. I thought I thought it was a, mm. a, it was a good package for a collab. What do you think, Anita? 
No, I I also overall like the whole concept, the aesthetic, visually, um, of the music video, of the song itself. Um, I also want to shout out like the animation for the music video. So there's well, there's a little bit okay. of storyline, right? The only like the it? only thing Blizzard's good at is still making CGI cutscenes. To, to be oh, the cutscenes, <laughs> of course, so oh yeah, good. they're still super. They're, they're still on the top end of that where World of Warcraft cutscenes and like Diablo cutscenes. They still do an amazing job with that. We'll give them that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll admit to that. I feel like it was really nicely played out um like the little storyline they had going on it went really nicely with the song as well um i don't know i feel like this song is a good example of a collaboration that fits the artist i think because i think the song really went well with Mm -hmm. with Mm seraphim's concept as itself like outside of this collaboration like I, i could see this song being promoted for them um so i thought it was really nice it's a little different from Gods, where like Gods. Yeah, and that's what I was referencing. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I omit that part. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll, if I'll put it this way, Gods is more about the event. Like League of Legends mm. World Championship is epic. You better watch it. Yes. This is more like, hey, we got the Seraphim here. <laughs> Please come play. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like the Seraphim is oh. the main attraction. I thought here. Um, Additionally, for people who, like, Anita, you don't really play Overwatch 2 or <laughs> Overwatch at all. Yeah, so in the music video, you know, they reference a lot of the skills these characters have. Like, you know, at one mm-hmm. point, a giant mech picks up the truck that they're in, right? Yes, yes, yes. That's D.Va's mech. Or at mm-hmm. one point, they are almost they almost can't go into the concert because they forgot the ticket, so one girl rewinds time. That's her yeah. ability oh, yeah. in the game. It's so, like, they, they put in a lot of the lore into the, the, mm-hmm. the, the video nice. visuals as well. Yeah, That was mm-hmm. nice indeed. It it's felt kind of clever, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it was interesting applications of these built-in mechanics of the game that they introduced into this cohesive... There was, like, a storyline, you know? We're late for the concert, guys. Like Let's it. go, right? Yes. I, I thought that made a lot of sense. They did a good, Blizzard did a good job there. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say about this track. It's, it's chill, <laughs> it's you know? It's a good song. I mean, okay, let's talk about how chill it is, right? Like, it, it is pretty chill. Um, and a couple weeks ago, and until pretty recently, we were complaining about that. We were saying it's everything's kind of muted, everything's kind of boring. Um, Anita wasn't here for this, um, but there was a week where like we were like, yeah, I think everything just kind of feels too low key. Um, this does not fall into that grouping at all for me. No. The top line is very well mm. built. The foundations are yeah. there. It's a good song overall, um, and it doesn't. Sure, it's nothing too crazy in terms of production. It's not not wildly unique. But at the same time, I have to put this into the context of other K-pop songs I'm listening to. Mm-hmm. Um, and this has been... Right now, it feels a lot less played out. So strategically, I don't know if that was planned or not, but it feels a lot less like another weekend Cupid, Say So, uh, Off the Record, oh, uh, mm-hmm. BYOB kind of track. You know what I mean? Like it's Sure, it has guitars. Sure. That's about it. Um mm. Otherwise, it's pretty chill. Um, it's sure it's a formula that really works really well in this kind of genre, right? Um, slow trap drums, guitars, um, your favorite R and B artists, his friends, their friends, girls' friends, whatever. They've all done this kind of genre. <laughs> um, but it's nice hearing the Seraphim's little take on it um, in the scope of K-pop because it's not. I don't know. You haven't really heard this outside of the B-side grouping in a while. So, can we give a shout out say. to Miwayaki Sakura real quick? Oh yes, like, she eats up this choreo, yo. Like that's <laughs> that's what a lot of people are talking about. Is like, man, Sakura's good now. Is like, <laughs> and I, you know, normally I say like she been good, but no, that was not the case. If you watch Produce Forty Eight back in the day, guys, <laughs> like her, her improvement well, as a dancer has been remarkable. Let's put it that way, yeah. right? Oh it's yeah, it's been remarkable. Um, hard work. We, we let's let's mm. uh, give her her flowers for that. Uh, what were you gonna say, Anita? No, no, I was uh, referencing back, like, the sound, right? How it could fall under the more chill, not super hype type of song genre. But I think what makes it kind of unique or what made it stand out to me was this, like, break chord type of sound they had going on for some of the percussion. Um, So, like... Uh, Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it was, like, it was here and there. It wasn't too often that you heard it i think you hear it 
before going into the chorus. Transition. Yes. That sounded like, like this that. fantastic that drum mm-hmm. thing they do there. I think it worked yeah. really well. I almost yep. wish it kind of signal like maybe like a speeding up in the chorus because it doesn't really speed up anything like you just hear it and then we kind of stay in the same tempo uh, but i i thought it was nice i think it and it added something different instead of just being like a more typical chill vibey song so i think it worked i think there's certain elements of the song that make it not fall in under too bland or too no. boring yeah. i agree with you it's it's definitely a pattern that's very prevalent in K-pop, but it's a lot mm-hmm. more noticeable here. It's a lot more intentional, um, mm-hmm. if anything, rather than, oh, let's add the transitional drums because everyone, th-, you know what I mean? Like It's mm-hmm. very intentional. They did it on purpose. Um, same goes for the second half of the chorus, right? Um, mm-hmm. Unlike most of K- K-pop has this thing as a genre where the top line is never empty. It's always something going on. Somebody's always singing or doing the la 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 pa 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 thing. You know what I mean? Mm. In the second half of this chorus, uh, sorry, second half of the chorus for this song, um, there's a huge gap. There's like tonight, and then there's a huge oh, gap, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Until the they start singing again. Um, that really adds to how kind of vibey it is. Whereas mm-hmm. they could have easily filled that up with like cool instruments, different sounds, like a cool night. Night, 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 that kind of thing. They could have done that. You know what I mean? They, they have a million things they could have done and they decided not to. Less is more. Good choice. I thought it was a good Overall choice. Overall, very solid. It's for, yeah. it's for a vibe song. Like, this ain't a real, like, comeback for them, right? This is more like a special comeback thing. Yeah. yeah. I thought it, it served its like- purpose. It's cool. It's fun. I was thinking of downloading Overwatch 2 again, you know? So <laughs> Don't fall into that trap. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll continue to play good games like Baldur's Gate. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let's... <laughs> Uh, optimization issues. So let's move on to the. <laughs> oh, I would call this one low spicy for me. I'm gonna listen to this all week. Oh yeah. Uh, yes, a little spicy. I'll give it that. Uh, I said tingly. Um, okay. Hey, you know what song I've actually been listening to the entire week? What's up? Macarota cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you hated that song. I probably listened Wait, to it a good Unironically, week. me too. <laughs> 50 times this week, I think I listened to it. And I was the only person with the song on my chart. Look at this. Also, Table of Turned. I, I also want to shout out another song from their mini album. Oh. OTB. 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 Okay. That's okay. a good one. I think I like it more than the title track. Oh, yes. shit. All right. Moving on. We have Rise with Talk Ooh. Sexy. So they are from SM. Uh, the other releases they've had is Get a Guitar or Memories. As we know, they're the SM rookie boy group. Um, trying to make their way in the K-pop world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Uh, let me put on the hot take Harold glasses, you know? <laughs> get into character. This Channeling this, your costume. No, I'm, I, I, I'm so frustrated. I can't even get in the character. I forgot what he sounds like. Oh. <laughs> this, this, guys, listen here. This okay. saxophone that plays throughout the entire song kills mm. my enjoyment of this track. Ooh, Ooh, and that's that's the key thing though. Like that's the play. Am, on I, am, the I, am I am I crazy, song. dude? That's the title of the song. It's talk saxy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like some saxophone too, but not this computerized repetitive looping sax the entire time. Mm. I mean, you know what yeah. it reminds me of? Jason Derulo, Talk Dirty. Yes, I could yes. See that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I don't, it's me. It's probably because of that song, but dance tracks, dance hip hop tracks that have a very prominent saxophone sample. Mm-hmm. I've I've never enjoyed in my entire life, past like 2010. Mm. Hey, and the the last track, the get a guitar, sounded like Queen's uh, Another One Bites the Dust. You know, like. <laughs> Okay, mm. that one I feel like is a bit more of a farther jump, but I see what you mean. I think I what, what made this particular sample they used and like that motif, um, to me, kind of sound very one note, was the fact that the the song itself is not very complex. Like, there's it's very minimal. Like when I listen to it, I feel like there's certain like only one or two instruments at a time going on, so. I think it just highlighted it even more because when you heard it, it was one of the only things you could hear. So it's very clearly there. 
um i don't know i feel like i see i could see the vision i just don't understand if it was the best choice for this type of comeback um i mean well you know what kind of comeback is this you know what i mean this is their essentially get a guitar is their debut talk to actually their second like promotional track Mm -hmm. um in my head we should be doing a good job of building a character for rise identifying who these kids are um and instead what came out is this track that feels rather underbuilt incomplete Mm. um i know you said minimal um i'm gonna go a step further and say it feels like we haven't finished making the song yet um it feels empty feels Mm, yeah like we're giving too much focus to the sax. I, I, like I get it. Talk saxy. That's the whole motif of the song. <laughs> I don't like the rap pa pa pas either. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I thought go. that I was a little odd there. Like yeah. the, the the one the, the the saving grace of this um, music video is that as somewhat minimalist on this, right? There's not too many sets going on. There's a lot of performance aspect, which seems to be a very common thing in Rise at the moment, which I like. Apparently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of close-ups, so you get to start to know which kids are which, you know? Those are the True. things I think they're doing well. But this song, though, I mean, it's just not for me. Like, it might be for you. You might like this, right? You might think this is amazing. But for me, it's just like, it's, it's, it's like a little abrasive, you know? It's yeah, not the, super the, inviting. Yeah. You know what the other side of it is? Like, the, sure, I, we're focusing a lot on the sax sample right now, but like the guitar itself doesn't sound too great either. That also sounds. Um, there's a whole section after a sax comes out where it's just funk guitars. Um, mm. That also feels very raw, incomplete, just just not mixed. Um, and that also reminds me of like, like, uh, indie band One It Wonder songs of the early 2010s. You know what I mean? Like mm. the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh. That is a special place in my heart. Don't get me wrong, but I would one rather hit, leave One like, Hit Wonder? Wait, sorry, not Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> no, it's um, Hot Chili Ray? What? Oh. Okay. Hot Chili Ray. I think I've... Yeah, okay. Yes. With uh, Tonight, Tonight, Part of the Never Off oh. Talk. Oh. That one. Are, are they a one at wonder? I actually don't know well enough, so like, please don't take what I said and shit me on. That <laughs> no, I think th- I think they are. I think they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they have this. A lot of the band sounds from that era had this very abrasive guitar mm. sound to it, mixed to it, um, and this kind of goes back to that. All of this doesn't sit well. Doesn't feel natural. It feels very forced. Um, mm. Bare. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I agree with that bear statement because I feel like I I wasn't sure what is missing, right? But the, it felt like something was needed to complete it or to fu- to fully feel completed. Um and I also feel like we talked about the sets a little bit. The sets are okay. I did feel there, there's weird they, decisions. Are they they added a, a little bit of that 2000s vibe that <laughs> the song already there's, has. There's like a certain yeah. point. There's like a certain point where they're just in a warehouse, right? You could tell it's a warehouse. Uh-huh. They put up the black curtains around the, the the area that they're in. They put mm-hmm. down the dance floor. They put the like lights on the floor, Spot, right? Yeah, so the lights. Just yeah. And then they zoom out so you could see that that's what they're doing. It's like I know you're in a your warehouse, but like you don't gotta show me, you know. Like they, I, I don't know. That was a very interesting decision, especially from SM, right? So that's obviously a calculated decision, right? They're like, we want to have this type of vibe, like. Mm. But if you just showed me this at face value, I would be like, is this group like, is the company struggling for monies here? You know, like. Yeah. It's like you, remember know. we used to have a phrase SM box. Yeah. Yes. It's what this is. Like even the sets that are like more carefully planned out, um, they just feel very out of touch in terms of like what pops off these days you know what i mean um mm. same goes for the set with like the talk sexy text lighting in the background that one in particular yes i honestly like saw the thumbnail for the music video and i thought it was shiny right it's the replay the replay music yeah. video has that <laughs> yeah I, which me, which to me feel like okay maybe it's a like on purpose maybe they're trying to do like a throwback concept but it just felt a little odd 
Yo, like if you know. look up, so you just suck made a boy group cover dance group on one of his shows. It's called oh, One Top, and they covered to you by uh, Teen Top. Yeah, it's literally like the same scene. Like <laughs> they're in a warehouse, and there's those production lights on the ground, and they're just filming <laughs> it for fun, right? It's it's like. But they're only doing it like that because they got no money to do it, is what UJ Suck said. Like, he's like, this is the... It's a TV show. Yeah. It's just, it's just, like, the one thing is, obviously, these kids are very good. Their dancing is good. Oh, yes. That's the main thing to me is their dancing. I think is really good in this group. Their Um, performance is really good. I think, also, their singing is actually quite nice, too. For me, the highlight of this song was the bridge, where we get, like, more of that smoother sound more focus on the vocals um i think so he's a main singer at that point he's pretty good so i feel like i wish it would have highlighted that more but i don't think the song helps <laughs> are you talking about after the second chorus where it gets like all yes. like r&b it? that mm-hmm. part was good i like that part i'm not I gonna like lie. That yeah part. they bring yeah. out like the sm vocal layers dude and yes. it works of course that works. right that works but i don't know the 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 whole background saxophone and then the rum pump pump bombs i was just like really taken out of the song by that point you know <sighs> yeah i feel yeah. i feel bad because like i know rise is really good but there just hasn't been a track yet that's like for me you know that's that's what i'm struggling mm. with over here i'm with you buddy i'm with you and i want to like rise because i'm like this is the start of the next generation guys like you know but it's There's just a like lot of potential, yeah. Yeah, but they're doing well, so I don't know. Okay. I don't think I can talk good, too I much. That's good, I guess. Hmm. Man, I just like I can't get that sound out of my head. The <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> dude, this is a little, little too much, right? A little bit. <laughs> yeah, too much. Too For much. me, uh, miles. It's, 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 it's probably high mild high mild maybe uh, I, I, I'm, with, no, 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 I'm in a Harold outfit it's a mild song uh, I was gonna put it in tingly it's a, it's a mild song for me I, don't, I, 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 I would say this is solid mild like this is yeah I don't feel a need to return to this track in the near future alright we got Niziu Korea debut with Hartress yeah. So, it's a combination of heart and Tetris, as I mentioned earlier. You know, the Ooh. game with the blocks. It actually makes mm-hmm. sense when you see all the choreography. Uh, Nizu is a group uh, by JYP and Sony Music together. Uh, their last three songs, these are all Japanese ones, are Coconut, Paradise, and Moon... Moon B? Moon Bay? I don't know how we're supposed to pronounce that. Blue... I can't even read. Blue Moon, right? Is that what it is? Blue Moon uh, B. Blue, th- are you sure? I think I like copied blue and pasted this wrong. <laughs> uh, blue moon. Blue moon. <laughs> it's blue just blue moon. moon? Oh blue moon. shit! I don't know where you got the extra B. I don't know what's uh. going on. I'm, I'm a mess. <laughs> um, hey, I like this one. There's, I really like this one. <laughs> there is something about the aesthetic, right? Oh. Uh-huh. And the nine girls in these kind of preppy outfits. That kind of brings me back to some early Twice. I'm not saying that it's anything comparative to, like, that era of Twice, but the vibe reminds me of that. (laughs) No, the vibes are there, yeah. Yeah. If you took, like, older Twice and you kind of combined it with, like, a little bit of Kepler or something, this is kind of what I'm getting. Oh, okay. The song somehow reminded me a lot about Kepler. I don't know what it was. Me too. Me too. I'm with you, buddy. Um... Sound wise, it's more of a traditional bubblegum kind of sound uh, overall. Um, but there is, like Doug mentioned, there's a lot of motifs from pulled from video games. Um, I love hence that. Hence the title, Tetris. Um, mm-hmm. The song begins with a um, synth, lead synth intro. It's bow, so bow, good. Bow, bow, bow. Right? So funky, so groovy. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more of that on the entire track, but I mean, mm-hmm. I'm happy with what I got, not gonna lie. Um, I mean, yeah, that's. It's got a good chorus. There you go. I mean, what more do you need? It's a good K-pop song. Uh, Yes. I feel like from the beginning, I really liked that synth motif they had. They repeated it a couple times, but like you mentioned, I wish it could have been even more Mm -hmm. throughout the song. Um, I I don't know. I feel like they did a really great job of, of having that concept of the Tetris and the, like love story theme going on would it felix really well mixed. would felix and the felix Yo, our boy felix <laughs> australia's finest 
is up in it the was, track. Okay, that was really. It took me by surprise because I was like, oh, what? What's going on? This ha- doesn't happen anymore. Like I feel. Yeah, like we don't, don't do those anymore. Cameos like that anymore. It reminded but it was me really of fun. like back in the day how shiny Mino is in G. You know, Kapjogi, he's just Iconic. there, and you're yes. just like, oh shit. Vito's here, right? That's it. That's I was like, oh crap, Felix. It used to okay. happen a lot in a music lot, videos. Right? Now we're in the era where you cannot even be within like ten feet of a like someone <laughs> of the opposite like gender as you, or else you're Whoa, gonna get shit on. Are you on. telling me people can be attracted to each other? That is bull. Hey, unless, <laughs> unless you, like you're both there to work and everyone knows you're there to be in the room together, like you're not allowed to these days. It seems so, like people just hate it, which is crazy. Um, there's one part of the song I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, oh, mm-hmm. it's that pre-chorus okay. section. Next uh, day, yeah, yeah. 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 Gotta, here we go. <laughs> I, I ruined the pacing for me. You know, could have been better. Yeah, I, I will admit that's one thing I didn't particularly enjoy about the song is all the rap acting. The da 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 that kind yeah, of yeah. Yeah, I agree. I I didn't like that rapping. No, um, it's just generally just something I don't really lean, lean in towards. But then again, it's pretty common mm-hmm. in K-pop. We just haven't had that kind of rapping in K-pop and for a while, actually. Um, mm. But only, I think, because this bubblegum kind of sound has not been as prominent in the last couple of years. Um, yeah. Okay, here's what I was really pleasantly surprised by. Um, as, a Korean, as a native Korean speaker, I was very impressed with their Korean. Hey, pronunciation um, was on point. Pretty good. Yeah. Very good. on point. It was, it was good. Very good. There was a couple points where it could have been a little better, but for overall, they could they could pass as Korean people. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dig into that a little bit, um, and the, the and that was really good because uh, the lyrics are really cute. Um, mm-hmm. I, it's not like deep or anything, but it's just it does what it needs it's to do. Fun. It's kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, it's a pop song. I like the choreo. Right. They do a lot of the, cutting. I love the choreo. And then I, I love, love the, the part in the chorus, reference. you know, when they jump. For some I reason, love that. <laughs> that jump was amazing. And then the the editor of the music video helped them a lot with the editing, you know, to make mm, the, the jump the feel shots. stronger. Like mm. the next move after the jump, they like punch downwards. But like there's an edit so it looks more forceful than it probably mm. actually was. Like they don't show them landing, basically. They're already punching. So it makes mm. it look more dramatic. Um, there's mm-hmm. there's a couple cuts towards the end too where they're doing more like actual tutting, and they like yes, slow it down that. a tiny bit at certain points, and it and it looks like so much crisper. Mm. And uh, I think they did a fantastic job of editing this too. Um, yes, yes, yes. Like I, I feel like that's prominent in the choreo too, and like it's like the the whole Tetris motif is like pretty tastefully thrown in. If that makes yeah, sense, yeah, like it's it. not too heavy, yes. not too heavy. No. It's not too heavy, and it's never too simple. You know what I mean? Like, mm. there was yes. so much room for them to be like, "Ooh, I love you like a video game or some bullshit like that." <laughs> but like, instead, they definitely got creative where they need to get creative, and it the never matching, comes off as like matching your. What is it? What was the line? Your G- I like how they look to your knee or something. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. 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 Your yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that. It, it makes sense. Cute. It makes sense. It makes sense. It's kind of cute. It makes sense. Um, <laughs> Hey, are, yeah. is Ni- okay. So I'm not the. I don't have the biggest uh, understanding of Niziu and all, all. I know they were made through a TV show. Are they like popping mm-hmm. off in Japan, Anita? I think mm-hmm. they are. They are. They are. They are. Yeah. They are? They're very okay. popular. Oh yeah, there's a lot of number ones here on Oricon. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Hey, uh, their first week sales in Japan for their last full length album, Coconut, was hundred forty thousand. Um, in Japan, that's good, oh, right? Number one. That's that good, right? That sounds very good for me in Japan, yeah. Okay. Mm. So, like, if I was just to... if As someone who doesn't have the biggest understanding of Nizio, and I don't know any of the kids' names in this group, um, this is the quality of an upper mid-tier girl group, if not better, you know? Like, the quality is really good from this group. Like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. was impressively good, in, in my opinion. So, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm watching them now, you know? Hey, let us know who your favorite Niziu member is, because I don't know any of them. So <laughs> let, let me know who I should be standing. Introduce them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and who's the girl in the chorus, in the sweater in the beginning of the chorus, with the short hair-ish? I thought she was killing it, the girl with the, 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 the sweater on. I don't know. I wouldn't know, but... Exactly. Someone in the good. comments will let me know who that is. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, that being said, hey, it's, it's interesting that they, like, Built them up in Japan, 
They're finally good. Mm-hmm. Then they throw them onto the, the the Korean front. I I wonder how this is gonna do because I thought it was this is very compelling for from me. Right? Like, I think yeah. it's gonna go well. Honestly, it's I'm, I'm excited about well. this. I, I'm kind of confused a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Right? Um, mm-hmm. As much as I love the song, as much as I think these people are really talented. Um, having a all Japanese group be really popular with the general public is a it near be tough? impossible feat. Yeah, ah. that's not I mean, gonna okay. be very easy. Um, mm. So either JYP decides to play it safe and build a good fandom in Korea, um, or they take the risk and try to push this to the general public. I don't know what the strategy here is gonna be, um, but I mean, I don't know. If they go for the fandom route, I think it'll be really solid. Obviously, they have a good foundation already in terms of people who are willing to buy this album, mm-hmm. buy their shit. So, I don't know. I, I hope they do well. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this was a big surpriser to me. Like, I was like, I didn't know mm-hmm. what to expect. Then I turned on, I was like, hey, this kind of feels like kind of classic girl group stuff from like five, six years ago, right? And I was pretty down Ooh. for that. Um I- Honestly, remember when Cherry Bullet debuted? I thought this is the kind of music they'd be doing. Oh, I agree. I, I agree. love that Cherry Bullet debut. Yeah, yeah. I like that debut too. I just, I just, I just miss all these groups. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this we is know. Uh, we agree. This is. I don't this know how to put it in spicy, but this low is low spicy for me. Okay, mm. I'll put it high tingly. You know. Oh, spicy, easy spicy. Easy okay, easy. wow, nice. Oh, uh, let's move to the last song. Anita, your boy is back from the military, right? <laughs> Tame, uh, yes. Tamin is back. Uh, he he's is from back. SM. Last three, advice, idea, criminal. Hey, Tamin, is it me or did he have like the shortest feeling gunde ever? Like, I literally felt like he went last really? week and he back. Oh, I thought it was long. Oh, you can't say that to the fans, Doug. They've been having a horrible time. <laughs> They've been having a rough time? You can't say that. I know, like, I, know, like, I know P.O.'s coming out real quick too, right? Like, he's about he's to beat this oh, Yeah, He's back too. Um, yeah, he's back already. I need a, we, so, Taman has been mm-hmm. gone for like two years, essentially. Almost, yeah. He came back with the most Taman of Taman songs here with Guilty, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't yes. know. I don't know how to describe it, but like, if you could just play this to anyone, and be like, "Oh, it's clearly a Taemin song, right?" It is. Yes, I agree. How, with how, that. how do we feel about that? Um. Okay. I feel like, having said that, I feel like it's it's a good thing, but also it leaves me wondering, like, what other directions can we go? Because I think we were talking about this before we started. That um, I feel like. For his solo projects, it's been very consistently on a more darker, intense yep. road, right? Like, not, like if you compare what Shiny does as a group and what he does in solo projects, it tends to be quite different. Like, nothing super bright, super energetic, playful. He doesn't do that, and I feel like okay, maybe that is that's the the identity he wants to bring as a soloist. But I do feel like. It has been maybe too consistent. <laughs> I don't know. I feel no, like you know what. Yeah. No, yeah. Sorry. Finish your sentence real quick. No, no, no. Yeah, I feel like that's that's kind of the feeling I was getting. Not to say the song is bad. I just feel like um, it feels it feels familiar in a way, and I don't know if that's good or bad. Sometimes. It honestly, here's the thing, though, right? Like, you can, yes, you can keep doing dark songs. Yes, you can keep doing songs that are, like, really emotional and, like, performative. Mm. Sure, fine, keep doing that. There's different ways to do it. There's good ways to do it, there's bad ways to do it. There's exciting ways to do it, and there's boring-ass ways to do it. This falls under the boring-ass ways to do it, in my head. Um, it's mm. The song is draggy, it's very just moody, um, it doesn't feel like it really goes anywhere, it doesn't take benefit... Ad, sorry, advantage of the rhythmic structure it has. Um, Taemin does a lot of things with the vocals, um, and I'm gonna guess mm-hmm. this the you know the, the producer, or director, or whatever. Um, and he does these little things that make it difficult for me to take the song seriously, right? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. what about that? Like, what about that sing rapping in the middle? Yeah, see that too. The whole whisper <laughs> rap <laughs> that are that like was, that was my le- just that was my least favorite part. To be to be honest. There were, all quarter note downbeats. They were just... 
that was really interesting. The the way he said, throw it all away. Eh, 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 that was really just, I'm like, do you want me to take you seriously? The chorus where he spells out the word guilty. Like, I was like, really? Like, I like the performance, though. You know, it's like performance. I art. like the performance. I, we got this. I like the we got this too. too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Choreo, choreo point, yes. The choreo, that was cool. That was cool. Okay, that was really cool. I'll give him that. That seeing was cool. You, yeah, seeing you try to do it. Now, I'm st- no offense, Doug, but like seeing you try to do it. So that, that, that part was like, oh, shit. Because I got to give him the props for the creativity to come up with that, like, you know, disassociated hand movement, right? I was like, oh, shit, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I got um, I, I like the second half of the music video mm. when it got a little fiery. I thought it all mm. made more sense when we went to real performance heavy section. I thought mm-hmm. it made more sense. But when you take the song at face value as just a song, if this came up on your like your playlist when you're doing something, you'd be like, Jesus Christ. You know, like there's a big investment I mean, you got to make to listen to a mm. Tamen track these days. Right. Like Okay. But the thing is, okay, if I'm looking back on his previous releases, right, advice idea those two in particular i thought ran the more like running the dark concept but with a more exciting aspect to it or it felt more novel to me criminal was fun i i liked idea too there was like there was at least like fun stuff going on right yeah i feel like this one took a more i guess a more like a maybe the tempo of the song doesn't help either where it's a lot more slow uh, more dramatic mopey mopey a little. mopey right. that's the word i'm looking for mopey. and i feel like to me like the performance aspect really helps it not feel too much of that but in this music video and i haven't seen the live performances yet i haven't i'm looking forward to them it i feel like for this particular music video there was there were shots of the choreo but something about the lighting or like the perspective of the shot i feel like they didn't capture it very well um I don't know. I feel like even for the key dance, we weren't showing like everything. Like we only showed a couple of shots of the, this, the hand movement that we saw. This music video, right, Anita? Mm. Remind me of a Korean horror movie where oh. yeah, there's a I lot mean, of drama. There's a lot of drama going on, and there's a it lot of like weird a, stuff going on. An and by the end, of sorts, and yeah. the, by the end of the movie, you're like, I didn't figure out shit. By the end of the movie, <laughs> you know what I mean with Korean movies, a lot like of wailing, questions. wailing, yeah. yeah, wailing. You watch that movie, and you're like, wait, no, that's a really interesting movie, though. I know it's an interesting movie, but there's like scenes with like you know the car with the birds and stuff like that, right? In yeah, that movie, yeah, yeah. and you're watching this movie, and if you don't have insider knowledge about like some tropes okay, and things like yeah. that, you mm. come out of the movie like. What the What's fuck just happened? What is that? <laughs> that's, yeah, what, that's what yeah. this feels like a tiny bit to me. Like, I didn't get any resolution at all. Zero percent, right? I got 100%. cool. Instead of resolution point, about yeah. the storyline at the beginning, I got cool dancing, which is fine because I love Tame and I got cool dancing. Mm-hmm. But I have no idea what happened, right? Like, who's guilty? What crime did he commit? You know? Like, <laughs> what, what, what's going on here? Oh. Yeah. Why, why is everyone freaking out in the countryside in these abandoned buildings, right? Like, I got all it's these questions. Why is to... why are people scratching themselves to bleed? Like at one point, right? Like we got that going on too. Mm. And yeah, you know what? Like all of that might have been fine if the rest of the package was really good. Yeah. It's just besides mm. the dance, there's not really a part of it that makes me really engaged. Um, so. I, I think that's what my takeaway was. All I got I mean, was like, yeah. he must have went through it in the military, like in order to drop <laughs> this track as the comeback. Because mm. I, I was looking at all these other ones. We had Advice, Idea, Criminal. They all had like very, like, they, even there, there was all theming, right? Like, Advice was kind of very abstract performance art, more or less, right? I thought it was, pre- it was pretty much what they were going for, too. And that was, that song was carried by like, the the crazy chorus and the crazy energy and the dancing there right mm-hmm. and then we we had something like idea that i remember that one too uh 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 uh, uh, uh right is that yes, the one right yeah. see yes, i remember yes. this but this one the, my only takeaway is like damn he's he's like he's mopey right now he's pissed right? off about something. yeah yeah i, I hope it's and then then and then, ta- and then criminal had more of like um it reminded me of like a tarantino movie cuz he had the eye patch that i remember that one too right yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you can do the Tamen style of tracks that we're used to, the performance art tracks, 
but at least mm-hmm. there's something to like to, to to grasp onto even if you're not the biggest fan of that like the style of music Taman likes to do but with this one there's just a lot of mope you know mm-hmm. uh, so it's, 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 it's tough for me it's very hard to digest this one too I thought I, here's the thing though right here's what makes me really sad is like I felt like all the ingredients were there they just it just wasn't really combined well together um mm. a part of the promotion that SM really was really proud of with this track is a 30 person chamber orchestra chamber string orchestra um was apparently a part of the production oh now and that you mention it yeah there was a lot of there was a lot of strings yeah and those strings when they were emphasized i really liked it as someone who likes orchestral classical music yes that was really cool like the second verse is a lot more pizzicato than the first verse which is a lot more like cellos just doing fucking uh staccatos um that's Mm -hmm. cool sure fine whatever the fuck but then like the rest of the track it's all blended in with the synths and i can barely hear the fucking instruments it's like what's the point of hiring 30 people for the production if you're gonna drown it in the you know what i mean the rest of the song um it sounds great in the bridge it sounds amazing in the fucking bridge that part that's why it sounds epic like a horror movie. Okay, right, that makes right. way more sense in terms of ambiance. That makes more sense. Right. It's very dark, it's mysterious, yeah. but it's very grandiose and very majestic. Another part of it is the production is uh, set in 3-4, which uh, is a time signature that is commonly used for waltz music. That thing. Um, that being said, if you do waltz music, there's so much fun you can have with the, like, with the rhythms and the, you know, the cadence. That is all thrown away because the entire top line, every rhythm is pop, 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 just downbeats all. And that is, to me, is like you are, you have a lot of ingredients here and you just didn't season anything. You didn't really cook. You just So this is like the guy who went to the grocery store and bought the tomahawk Mm -hmm. steak, like the raw one for like 150 bucks. And then they didn't season it. And then you're like, you just wasted the steak. Yeah. 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 Forgot chives and uh. That's why I don't too. like. That's like the reason why I don't want to cook like brisket like from a barbecue place in my house because like I don't want to waste this expensive thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like I wanted to smoke some brisket, but I'm too afraid of just wasting expensive meat. To be to be honest, um, no, you gotta practice with the cheaper meat and then build yourself up. That's true. Um, okay. Yeah, t- Anita, I'm interested to see where you're gonna rate this. Is this tingly for you? Yeah. It's tingly. A tingly. <sighs> I'm having a rough week with SM this week, guys. So this, this is mild for me. Mm. Yeah, same. Yeah. Mild. Yeah. This is yeah. Rough. I mean, um, the thing is, for me, it's not that it's a bad song or that I, I it's not a good comeback. I just I do feel like as a return, right, uh, from being away for a while, and then where we had left off previously from the solo activities, I feel like it does feel like a downside in energy, like a downward turn in energy. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's like when when um, when I'm thinking of like Return of the King, right? I think of that <laughs> Lord of the, the, the Rings two towers scene when the riders of Rohan finally appear at the end of the battle. And they crest the hill, and it's like, oh, oh my god, it's <laughs> happening! They're here! It's awesome, right? <laughs> yes. You know exactly what I mean, right? Like that, yes. that, that, that feeling. I just didn't get that from this. Like, I wanted a big return here. Like the the the, the prodigal son, mm. the king is back, and I just didn't get that too much. Well, um, you know what? At the end of the day, advice is still up there for me as one of the most iconic songs oh, of that yeah. year. So I'm yeah, glad yeah. he's back. I'm he's waiting. back. I like that he's back. We'll see what he does next. You know what I mean? I'm not over. All right. Yeah. Uh, other releases this week include Heart Steel. So that's another League of Legends. This is the guy group with Baekhyun in it. They released yes. Paranoia. Mm-hmm. Ailey One released To My Boyfriend. Conan B released Like a Heaven featuring Paul Blanco. One Packed oh. released Goat, uh, G-O-A-T. Ghost Nine released Ruckus. Jesse released Gum. I actually like this song. I think it's catchy. Very gum, catchy. gum, 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 gum. Gum, 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 gum. The uh, Catch the Young released Cactus Boy, which is a pre-debut. B.I. released Love. Got Seven's Mark released Fallen. Chu released the B-side music video for Hitchhiker. Zodiac released Only Fun. And then Moon Jong Up, I believe formerly of B.A.P. released mm-hmm. XOX. All right. Spice King. 
Uh, last week, episode 255, 17 got a music picked up its first crown. Choose Howl was in second. Young Posse, Macaroni, Cheese, G Idol, I Want That <laughs> were in tied for third. The new candidates are the four songs we covered today La Seraph and Perfect Night, Rise, Talk Saxy, Niziu, Hartress, and Tamen Guilty. Um, third place. I got 17 got a music, guys. It's dropped oh, off a little okay. bit for me. Um, I, I, I think the reason Jeez. it dropped off for me, it's just like, it's positive. It's fun. But I, you know, it's just like too, 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 too much of that. Um, <laughs> second place. Too happy. I got too the young, cheese. I got the young posse. Oh, fuck about cheese in second place. <laughs> Yo, I took wow. my like lactate pill, you know, because I can't eat lactose, right? I took my pill. I'm digesting it, dude. You're ready. It's fantastic. Uh-huh. I'm ready. The body <laughs> is ready. Um, and in first place, I got La Seraphim Perfect Night. I wouldn't call Ooh. it a perfect song, but it's I. Yeah. Mm. It's a good song. Okay, that's a little surprising to me. I'll start in third place. I have La Seraphim in third place. Whoa. Oh. Um, I I mean, I I really liked the whole package of it. There's certain things where I feel like it could have been a little bit more like that beat, like the drum break stuff that happens before the chorus was really cool. But I wish it would have been included a little more. I feel like it came and went mm-hmm. here and there. So it's in third. Still a really good song. Second place, I have Needs a You. Ooh. Um, Artress. I really was pleasantly surprised with the execution, the production aspect, the music video, the choreo. Everything was really, really well done. So I will definitely be looking into them in the future. And in first place, I I still have 17. Got okay. music. Okay. I really liked the music video, like the vibe. 17 right here. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Uh, how are you doing, folks? Uh, Coach Lasso. Oh. Uh, my, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> my uh, chart for the week. <laughs> that fell apart. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I had a really hard time this week. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'll really? start with the easy one. Yeah. I'll start mm-hmm. with the easy one, right? I, I have Heart Trist on top. I think it's a really good song. I like it. Number it's pretty one. solid. Um, I have a soft spot for bubblegum sounding songs mm. does, uh, does a good job of capturing that bubblegum sound i cannot bubble I cannot bubble, bubble pop okay bubble bubble pop pop <laughs> um a song that is not very bubblegum at all is mac and cheese i'm putting that on second place uh Whoa. i am the, <laughs> like doug i am having a fun time uh i have not made mac and cheese but i would if i had the ingredients <laughs> i don't know <laughs> this i i I understand it's not for everybody, but the degeneracy of it. Oh man, like you know what I mean. Um, so stupid. I love it. Um, I'm looking to this group. I've been checking out their stuff. Me too. I've been checking yeah. out the behind the scenes. I watched the video with the director talking about the whole thing. Very yeah. interesting. There you go. Yeah. Finally, see. Um, one song that I have been consistently skipping every time it comes on the playlist. I will admit is "Howl" by Chu. Um. <gasps> Every time I come, uh, it plays, I'm like, I can't listen to this right now. Because if I listen to it, I know I'll be emotional. That's Aww. why it's third place for me. Um, <laughs> I have played a couple times, and it puts me in a specific uh, emotional state. I'm not going to lie. Um, mm. And I think a song that does that, is, there's not too many of those. Um, so I lean a little more towards Howl over mm-hmm. Perfect Night. Yeah, yeah. Howl in third place for me. Thank you. Hey. Okay. We got some votes here from the Soju Talk Nation and the Gochu Gang. First place with mm. 94 points. Holy shit. La Seraphim Perfect Night. Just patrons Dang. alone, the Gochu Gang gave it 68 points, which is more than any other <laughs> oh group. God. Just with the, the Gochu Gang by themselves. Damn. Okay. That's a statement. Second place and third place are separated by only one point. We oh, have Chu with Howl 58 in second. 17 got a music with 57. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. There's some interesting things. Um, By the way, like, the regular listeners, the Soju Talk Nation, love got a music so much. Like, for instance, uh, if it was just Gochu Gang, Chu got 32, 17 got 20, right? Mm. But if you look at the uh, Soju Talk Nation, they only gave 26 to Chu, but they gave 37 to got a music. So it made it up, made up the difference almost. Um, oh, wow. As a result, uh, yeah, Lasarif in first, Chu third, 
Uh, 17 first is from Gochugang. And overall, man, fourth place with six was Young Posse. Oh, Third so place, cool. so close. 17 <laughs> with seven. Second place, Niziu <laughs> with eight. And in first place, picking up its first crown is Seraphin's Perfect Knight with 11. Boom. Let's go. All right, finally, we're our show winners. Anita, hit us with them. Yes, first of all, we have TXT with Chasing That Feeling. They won on Music Bank, so they have a total of two wins so far. Then we have Im Yong-ung with Do or Die oh on my show God. Music Core. <laughs> oh two God, wins total die. for this one. Congrats to him. Then we have I first with Batty. They won on Show Champion and M Countdown, so two wins for that one. And then one again with Either Way on Inkigayo. One win Yo, for that one as there well. is nothing better than listening to mac and cheese and then batty right after. Like, <laughs> you like it. What a combo. <laughs> it's one what after combo. the other. Is, is it not, right? It's the combo <laughs> platter right now. Yeah. 100%. I listen yeah. to both of those back to back every single time. Um, yeah, that is part one, episode 256. We'll be back after a short break. Three, two, one. Nation, this is Anita here with a quick PSA. If you would like to support Soju Talk K pop podcast, please like, subscribe, or follow us on whatever platform you're using. And consider joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash soju talk or donating to us at paypal.me slash soju talk. On behalf of the crew and myself, thank you. Now back to our regularly scheduled episode. All right, we are back at it with part two of Soldier Talk, episode 256. We're going to talk about some news and events from the past week. Um, y'all probably heard this one. Uh, so Incheon police have booked the G-Dragon on charges of violating drug control laws regarding suspicions of drug use. So it's not limited to G-Dragon, but there was there's been a lot of like... People being accused, a couple people being charged with drug use in Korea. It's been a drug week in Korea, right? That's <laughs> the best way to put it. Yeah. Um, the biggest, most notable person was probably G Dragon. If y'all remember back in the day, he was also like suspected to use it, and then it, his hair sample turned positive. But then he said someone gave him a cigarette which was laced with weed, right? I believe that was what they they said back in the day um in 2011 mm -hmm. yes um 2011 right yeah i remember that happening yeah. it was a pretty big deal at the time but yeah all right so here's here's oh, some more great. stuff so people wanted yg entertainment to respond to this right they were they were mm -hmm. telling them why don't you respond they said quote difficult to respond not an artist belonging to our company <laughs> fair <laughs> it's a fair point it's right? true like, it's true <laughs> that's a fair point yeah but like why why do we still got to comment on this There's nothing yeah. to do with yeah. us. so that that made a lot of sense to me there um yeah so g dragon and actor kim sung yoon uh have Lee been, Lee sung -yoon, uh have been banned from traveling out of korea due to drug use allegations he's a big actor right Yes, uh, Lee Sung-gyun is, is where the scandal began. Um, and while they were investigating, mm -hmm. Lee Sung-gyun, G-Dragon, was also... Someone confessed that G-Dragon has also been visiting the place, venue, that sung -gyun has been frequenting. Okay, yeah, let's talk about the place. Uh, I saw a couple articles. People were saying, right? Tell me if I'm right or wrong, or There's a, uh, there's a, the, the place to meet ladies of the night, right? There's, there's a, there's a... There's mm. a place you can go. We're talking about Lee Sung-gyun right now, right? Not G-Dragon. Lee Sung-gyun, right? Lee Sung-gyun, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there's a place you can meet ladies of the night. And he was going and partaking, and he was getting drugs there as well, right? That is the current story at the moment, that he was going to places where he can buy services from women and also partake in drugs. Vitamins. For taking vitamins. Sure, vitamins, vitamins. Yes, I want yeah, my yeah, yeah. YouTube money. So uh, they were yes. investigating that guy, and then through all these people questioning people, yada, 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 G-Dragon's name came up a bunch, and then they invest uh -huh. they investigated him as well, right? Mm. Uh, technically, he came up once, apparently. Okay. So, okay. Um, this is really funny, the situation, right? Um, because when this first dropped and when this first came out... Um, 
By the way, is this the last article we have for the situation? Uh, we got a couple more. Okay. Keep going. Um, this the, is the only like G Dragon specific one left, I believe. Okay, then we'll, I'll just say what I have to say here, right? When this first came out, it seemed like this was a well supported, they're gonna arrest him because he's clearly done drugs before he's doing it again. Turns out there has been one person to confess that G Dragon has been doing drugs. Um, there has been no other pieces of supporting evidence that has come out yet. And this investigation, until we get more supporting evidence, was supposed to stay private. Apparently. Oh. Yeah. Um, well. some, somehow the press picked up on it and they were like, well, yes. Not now. Now we got to talk about it now that we know about yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, today, this morning, also, the warrant for the siege, cease and seizure of communication details was rejected due to lack of evidence. Yes. So yes. they were trying to get his cell phone data and they said, you don't got enough to get it. That's yes. That's essentially what happened mm-hmm. there. Um, so yeah. it, 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 we, we got to see what's going to happen here. It seems like there's a lot of people talking and there's not a lot of smoke, actually. Right. That's that's what it seems like at the moment. At, at, for for G-Dragon, yes. For the guy who played the rich dad in Parasite, I don't know. <laughs> um, He might... He's kind of fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there, he's G Dragon's being investigated for the use of o- opioid substance. Quote: A broad term that consists of recreational drugs uh, made up from opium, poppy leaves. It could be heroin, cocaine, yada yada yada. Yeah. And then the other guy, they're very, way more specific. They're called like psychotropic drugs. So they're like profarol uh, and also profarol ketamine. So, for the, um, so there's like a lot of stuff that <laughs> for this other guy that there's they think names. he's taking. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, some yeah. Propofol is the one that get a lot gets a lot of people in Korea. I I've seen this one come up all the time. Um, the same one. with uh, methamphetamine. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, we'll we'll keep you updated. But just know there's been charges and they're going through the whole thing right now. So we will see. But along with this. Everyone and their mother started to get like accused of being drug t- takers. Like, oh my god, <laughs> the Seraphim <laughs> K1 singer Park Sunju denied drug related rumors. So, K1's been out with the flu. Y'all remember this, right? She's yeah. not sick oh, and yeah. she's sitting out. Yeah, and people were like, she's just sitting out because she's like. They don't want to find out about her drug use, guys. That's what they were saying. So people were talking shit online because she's sitting out. They're like, it has to be related to drugs. So How is that? what? Where's the proof of that? Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, so like they were accusing Chewan of doing drugs. Oh, I was like, what the f is going on? Yeah, so that happened there. So both of these their agencies were like, nah, what the f are you guys talking about? And then I found another list of people. It includes Park Sonju, uh, Kim Chewon, and G Idol Soyeon, and BTS. Of course, they had a oh boy. So they, they've all denied the groundless rumors about their involvement in, dr- in drug cases. Yeah, so they're all gonna take legal actions against the people who are spreading these rumors. In case you think BTS is being left out, they're not. No one's too worried, no, my no, friend. No, no, you gotta include them. You gotta include them. <laughs> they're like, you know, uh, if G Dragon. I get my take drugs. You know who else? BTS. That's like, a, okay, that's that's like what they jump. did. Here. Oh, your Big Bang's doing it. BTS has got to do it too. Yeah, like so I, 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 I don't know here. Um, they just started accusing everyone uh, out here. Um, so that's that's all of the the drug news. Let's move on to more news. We do have more actual BTS so news, stupid. right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. Big Hit had to release a statement um, following the arrest of a woman in her 30s who was charged with stalking V. Right? So the individual was noted to have followed V into his residence where she approached him in the parking lot in the basement, probably, and given him a marriage license in the elevator. What the fuck? And this individual had a history of stalking V in the past. I'm glad they took it seriously and they stopped them. So this is a crazy woman who figured out where he lived, waited in his parking garage till he showed up. Got in the elevator with him and then handed him a marriage license. That's being like, scary. Can Dude, we sign this so we can be together forever? The yeah. fucking level of the Lulu you have to be to show up at an elevator of an apartment with a marriage pro- contract? Yeah, it's it's absolutely uh, insane. Not, not good. Some people guys. are just not mentally all there or not mentally healthy. It's 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 not a good look. But clearly, the lady needs help. 
I hope she gets help. Uh, we do not. Korea does not have a good rehabilitation system for mentally no, ill their people. Their mental health thing is is like the the crux of many of the issues within Korean society. Yeah. Um. <laughs> similar, similar in the U.S. too. You could say these days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to more happy uh, big hit news, big hit slash hive news. So, okay. hive and NBC <laughs> have met the defenses after a four year conflict. So oh. For, for, for <laughs> reference, right? This is the conflict. The conflict between Hybe and NBC has persisted over the last four years. It is known to originate in 2019 when BTS performed at a major year-end event in the United States, preventing their participation in NBC's annual event, quote, the NBC Music Festival on the same day. Consequently, all artists associated with Hybe have been unable to appear on NBC's music chorus since then. Po, oh, NBC got real petty. Is essentially what happened yeah. here. Yeah. And then basically they reached out to Bang PD, right? The, the president of NBC reached out to Bang PD and it was like, all right, we're sorry for being so petty. Like, we'll do, let's make amends here. He even stupid. literally said, like, we regret for NBC's past wrongs and outdated practices, is what he stated. <laughs> so NBC well, took a giant L out. today. Uh, they had to, though, more or less. I mean, uh, yeah. God. Um, the current CEO of NBC has been in office since February of this year. Yep. Um, so uh -huh. I'm going to guess that, I mean, it's obviously not the first thing he did when he came into the office, but in, it feels like something he's, he, he's trying to recognized. right the wrongs of his predecessors more or less. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the feeling. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, their music show is definitely suffering because like, you know, like all the BTS solo stuff, new jeans are not on the show ever. Right. Nope. Like, That's so they definitely realize that this was a bad look yeah yeah mm. um how, how stupid is this whole situation right it's, it's so stupid oh pretty fucking stupid i don't know how dumb it gets at this point yeah uh, um <laughs> so hey big win for hive per usual right guys um <laughs> next one the seoul high court rejected the 35050 uh members appeals and upholds the decision in favor of attract so Ooh. if you all remember this um kina dropped out of the lawsuit right yep and then this next week the high court rejected the appeal about the contracts basically it's in favor of 50 50 saying like no 50 50 gets to dictate the terms of the contract as they are but then they drop them from the thing so pretty much they're done this this whole conversation's pretty much over right um yeah technically speaking the article should say three former 50 50 members yes oh. because i believe that a track still has their counter lawsuit going on against the three members and they've more or less stated like yeah 50 50 the three members who are suing us they're pretty much out of it is what they've no, yeah. we, last week we saw the uh, they uh, put they put out a saying say they are no longer part of the group. Yep. Right. So yeah. That is that, and then <sighs> JTBC uh. participate in the production of a track's new girl group project auditions. You remember we heard about this one? Yeah. So they found the partner. JTBC is going to be doing it for them. That's quick. That's quick. Number one, and then <laughs> number two. Um. So. 5050's Kina to attend the 2023 Billboard Music Awards. <laughs> Plus, a track reveals plans to reorganize the group around her. Um, so they're they're gonna whoa. keep 5050 as an entity, and they're gonna find new girls and add her in. I think it's unrelated to the TV huh. show because that's gonna make another group. But at the same time, they're going to reimagine 5050 with new members around Kina. Uh, okay, well, you know, I don't know how well it's gonna go, but yeah. If you think about their rise to fame, it's Cupid twin version, not normal Cupid, the one with the rap version. Right. It's the Cupid sung by Aran and Shio. Does not have Kina in it. Um, Aran has a pretty interesting voice that I think was the backbone of this group. Musically speaking, mm. I don't know what Kina sounds like when she's singing. I heard she can sing. You know what I mean? That that's I, I have heard people tell me that she's a capable vocalist. Well, I don't know what she sounds like. Is this even 50-50 at this point? I don't know. You tell me, man. We'll have to see. We're down to like five pennies at this point now. No. no <laughs> uh, oh, Jisoo, Anbu Hyun, they broke up already, guys, due to busy schedule. Oh, oh. It's done well, so. Hope it ended amicably. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just, it just didn't work out. It, it happens. It happened. But I feel yeah. like if you get in a relationship and you're a big celebrity, 
and the person you're with is a big celebrity and you guys got busy schedules don't you think you like know this is gonna happen like you know what i mean <laughs> like if you're, it's if gonna you're be tough like, yeah if you're like oh yeah we're dating but we got such busy schedules we see each other once in a while but like we understand that because we're adults and it is what it is right i guess mm-hmm. i guess not i guess they don't think you that far, are right? on heartless monster love happens because it happens you don't calculate <laughs> oh i have eight hours of free time during the week you know what i mean like come on i guess <laughs> just it just didn't work out but you know she's uh. received an offer in an upcoming webtoon based film and is currently reviewing the offer so hey she might not be Mission dating but leaders. she'll be the lead actress Ooh. on a webtoon based film I think I've heard of this title. Have oh. I, I think I've read. Have I read this? Let me, let me Google what. I think maybe. Wait, I've read this. I think you yeah, guys I talked about this about on this. the show. We, yeah, yeah, this is one of the bigger action ones. After yeah. solo leveling, this is like one of the ones that fills the same kind of uh, niche. Genre. Yeah, yeah, this was a good one. Ooh. Good? Uh, there perfect. are some. There are some very strong female leads in that in that webtoon. So mm. that that should be pretty cool. Oh, do we? Want more Jisoo acting? I don't know. Dude. Hey, well. Oh. Hey, at least this ain't double patty. With I ain't gonna oh. even go there. Whoa, whoa, what? What? What's double patty? What? what? Double patty was I read's drama, dude. Oh. And before the. COVID, and then the thing happened, so no one watched it. Right? Oh, big oof. <laughs> oh, no. well. so I didn't even get to evaluate the acting skill because no one watched it. That one, that was a big oof. Oh, um, yeah, no. The total, the box office was uh, 15,000 people. Yeah. Uh, mm. Right here. Bang Ye Dam, former part of the boy group Treasure, will be making his debut as a soloist in November with his first mini album set for November 23rd. Uh, he will oh. also be sharing a pre-release on November 10th. So... Ooh. We got we're getting mixed signals now, right, guys? You remember yeah. he 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 was uh we saw him on K-pop star or whatever back in the day, right? Right. He was a trainee forever. Joined Treasure mm-hmm. was one of the most popular members because pe- people knew who he was. He even had a solo track, I remember, right, at one point. Mm-hmm. And then they just said, "Oh no, no, he just wants to be a producer now." So he's stepping um, out of Treasure. So we we're like, "Okay, he's gonna be a producer, cool." Right. But then they're Thank like, "No, no, no, mm-hmm. he left the label." And then no, and they're like, oh, okay, maybe he wants to be a producer somewhere else. No, he signs with another label, and now they're like, no, 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 he's gonna be a soloist, guys. So I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure. A little confusing. That was, but I'm glad he's making music because he's yeah, a good singer, that, good that's, producer. That's um. Next thing, JTBC just wants to like make new groups, right? So JTBC, uh, <laughs> see, they they just they're just related in K-pop all these days. They shared that Cube Entertainment to debut new boy group uh, nowadays in quarter one oh. of 2024. This will be Cube's first boy group debut in over eight years. Over eight years. Wow, it's been a minute. Eight years. Really? Pentagon eight years ago, I guess, right? It must oh, be. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Pentagon debuted in 2018. Yeah. Sorry, 2016. 2016. Wow. That's that's crazy. Um, Wow. All right. Yeah, once B2 will be... It's B2... B2B is like way, way earlier, right? 2012, right? Yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. Wow. Okay. Should be exciting. Um, And then finally, we got some of the uh, lineups for Mama, which we held... Uh, on November 28th and the 29th at the Tokyo Dome, if I remember correctly, the Mnet Asian Music Awards. So the first lineup we got on day one, one, I and I, is it any or I and I? I and I. I and I, Zykers. Uh, uh, sorry, can you pause two. for a second? Sorry. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right. The 2023 Mnet Asian Music Awards announced its first lineup for performing artists, uh, which will be held on November 28th and 29th at the Tokyo Dome. Oh. So Mama's obviously a big uh, award show. We all like to tune in for that. So day one, you're getting TVXQ, J01, I and I, mm-hmm. Zykers. Day two, you're getting ATs, Neezy U, Zero Base One, and Rise. Oh. And then we also have the second lineup it was announced today. Day one, TXT in Hype and Kepler and Team and Street Woman Fighter 2. Uh, day two, 17 okay. G-Idol, Le Seraphim, Boy Next Door, L's Up. Mm. I was wondering where, L- where L's Up is. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Let me see which day I think is stronger. 
Yo, day two. Day two, though. 18 <laughs> easy use zero base one rise. 17 G I the Seraph and boy next door L's up. Yeah. Hey, I, yeah. that seems like the day. Day um, two seems like the day. All right, so we got that. Um, that's all the news this week. In terms of the music next week, Artemis Hegen debut. It's happening tomorrow on Halloween, guys. Oh, wow. C- Catch mm-hmm. the Young is having a debut. Epic High. Epic High released their, their light stick. It's confirmed as the middle finger oh. light stick, guys. Wait, middle finger? Wait, Wait, Epic it's, High has a light stick? It's called the Park U, no, Park U light stick or something, like FU, more or less. <laughs> Something like that. You got. You got. You guys got to see it online. It's, it's. It's literally like a Mickey Mouse hand middle finger is their light stick. Um, <laughs> Pak Yu Bong. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Pak Yu Bong. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have <laughs> Wavy Weekly. Well, Weekly's having a comeback. That's Weekly. exciting. Nine Eye Golden Child VVZ. I do not know how to pronounce this group. That's gonna have a debut. Let me. Let me Google it real quick. Is it Ait? Ait. Ait. A E Eight. 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 Uh, I don't know what they're going for there. Bro. BTS Jung- Jungkook, uh, great guys. Got seven Young J and zero base one. Ooh, that's, base. that's a, quite a lot. That's a lot, guys. Heejin, <laughs> Weekly, VVZ, Jungkook, zero base one. Oof. Um, but that ends part two. So just talk episode two fifty six. After the break, we're going to be doing a Halloween candy tier list. Stick around for that to get some festive uh candy ranking. We'll see you guys then. Three, two, one. And here's an extra special shout out to all of our Fiesta patrons on Patreon.com. Bagel, Charles, Cotton Ball, Delmonic, Ellie. Irv Tron, Gogu Mama, Honey Pools, Liam's Games and Toys, Luke Daniels, NJ Parks, Tear, Siu Sumi. And thank you for joining Soldier Talk, your weekly shot of K pop. Special thanks to our Discord server mods, Jacob, K Music Air Day, Koala, Max, No Bias Nuda, Tuggles, and Wolf297. What are we doing, Warren? All right, it's uh, it's Halloween today. Uh, you know what? What's your favorite part about Halloween, guys? Uh, candy. Candy. Oh yes. Yeah. Candy and costumes. Yeah. They're fun. I'll admit, I I like both. Not gonna lie. Free candy. Who's gonna complain? It's free shit. <laughs> oh, you did not make this tier list, right? I didn't make this tier list. I just pulled it off of tiermaker.com. Um, okay. So I don't know all the candies, but hey, we have a Halloween candy, best Halloween candy tier list. Um, we have S A B C D F uh, slash never had it, but I think between all of us, we should probably know all the candies here. Mm. Um, so I got a quick question before we start. Okay. Are you a chocolate based candy person or a non chocolate based? Like, do you like gummies or lightsabers Ooh. or? Like, are you a chocolate person non-chocolate. or not? You're a non. Hundred percent chocolate person. I'm a hundred percent a chocolate person. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. Other than like one We're type of fight. non gummy, which I really like. I used to literally trade my not chocolates with chocolate. Whoa. So you would have been my best friend in in, in, in third grade, Anita. I would have <laughs> given you all my stupid gummy, and you would have all given me your Ferrero Rochers. Wait, I like Ferrero Rocher too. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's do like it. like candy. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want to start from the, the alphabetical order here? Yeah, we got 100 grand. It's just a shitty grand. crunch bar. Is it not? 100 grand. It, it tastes that really happens. fucking healthy. You know what I mean? And it's not. Does it? It's just a worse crunch bar, right? Yeah, it's objectively a worse, worse crunch bar. It tastes healthy when it's not healthy. So a uh, 100 grand includes... 
chocolate caramel and crisped rice is what it says. Wait, well, yeah, um, I like the crispy kind. Oh. Okay. I'll give it a C. All right. If C is like if C is just the most mid candy. This is in that tier of just mid filler candy, right? Okay. Yeah. This is filler. Yeah, like I wouldn't. I wouldn't mid. complain. I wouldn't be too angry. I wouldn't be too angry if yeah. we had this. I'd be like, okay, this is. It has some chocolate in it. Whatever the fuck. Um. All right. We'll place it in C tier for now. Let's move on to three musketeers. Ooh. Oh, that's a that's an A. Okay. Yeah, I would say an A. Here's the I'm issue. I'm happy when I get that. With Three Musketeers. What's the issue? The the nougat? You know what I mean? The the filling? It's all... Dude, this is all nougat. Do this is like, all nougat. Do you like nougat like or not that. is what you ask yourself when you eat a Three Musketeers. It, it's just all nougat. It gets all over your teeth. And you feel like you're having like cavities constantly while you're eating it. You know what I mean? What? I need to have a feel about... How do you feel about... You like Musketeers, Three Musketeers? I do. Would you put it in uh, B? I said A. Oh, oh. See, I say B. I, I, I like Three Musketeers, but I like some texture. Yeah, see, <laughs> it ain't got no texture. Honestly, you know what? I don't know. I'm see. thinking of all the candy bars. Two, the Three Musketeers like a lower end of a top 10. Okay, fair. I will give it B. B, fair? You gotta put it at least B, right, B? Anita? At, I think. Least B. at least B. All right, let's leave it there for now. We can adjust later. All right, Airheads. Y'all like Airheads? Oh, I used, I I used do. to actually I'm, like these growing up. I was a big fan growing no, up. Uh, no. In my school, they used to sell them for like for like a quarter every Friday yep, in yep. elementary school. And I've never bought them because I think they taste <gasps> awful. What? What? No. Have you also ever taken good. an Airhead and just shook it a lot till it all condenses to one end? Have you done that, Anita? No. No. I never well, did, we that. Used to do that. I don't know. We used to do that. Just, it didn't change anything. It was just for fun. I think I've only had <laughs> Airheads like three or four times in my whole life. What? Airheads really? is a B, right, Anita? At least a B. Yeah. There's a lot of flavors to it. Yeah, there's a lot of flavors. It's fun. All right. Fine. I've never had it after a third grade, so I will place what? it in Airheads B. Airheads are good. Airheads are good. All right. Fine. Jeez. All right. Uh, we have the shittiest of all the things here. Almond Joy. What? F. F. I love Almond Joy. F. <gasps> Doug, no. Dude, it's fuck you. Of, it's just because I'm old, though. Like, it's I used coconut. To Almond Joy. <laughs> I love coconut. Oh, oh, but the texture. Okay, the texture is okay. It's, I think it's just the artificial coconut flavor that does it for me. All right, you know what? I don't like both. The texture. I, uh, one of my my favorite candy bar, it was a rare one growing up. We have this thing in my mm -hmm. town. It's called Beetlejuice. Like This family puts oh. on like a Halloween-themed show in front of their house. Whoa. And, like, it's like a block party I've heard of wow. in front okay. of their house. Mm -hmm. And like mm -hmm. they have like Jack's like a headless horseman runs through on a horse and stuff, oh, wow. and they do shows and like aliens cool show production. up and Batman shows up. Like it's a big production in my town, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And they used my favorite candy. They used to hand out there. They used to hand out like weird candy. Um, it's it's not gonna be mm -hmm. on the. It's called a Zagnut, a Z A G N U T. It, it was yeah. my favorite candy growing up. If I had to describe it, it's pretty much a Butterfinger with coconut. <laughs> that's that's what it is. No, no, look up the actual candy. That's that's like a bowl. Oh, is it no, not the actual Zagnut? I don't think that's the actual one. Just look up Zagnut candy bar. Huh. A yeah. Butterfinger bar it's makes pretty it much, And there's no chocolate. It's pretty much the inside of a Butterfinger with some coconut in it. Ew. Okay, but see, I think yeah. that seems a little bit more appetizing than the almond joy. That was like my favorite thing growing up. Oh, I don't yeah. know, dude. That sounds absolutely disgusting. Is it, is it too naked? It's too naked. It looks naked. It <laughs> looks disgusting. It's, it's so good, though. It's it's like peanut buttery and coconutty. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. It looks flaky. like a fucking dying finger with like flaky skin. <laughs> yeah, but that was one of my favorites growing up. Uh, all right. Well, Almond Joys are not Zagnuts. Almond oh, Joys suck ass. Baby, baby Ruth, do you like peanuts? That's, yeah. that's the question you ask yourself. I, 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 I think they're okay. It's all the seats here. I liked. I loved Baby Ruth growing up. Like for me, it was like an A tier. Really, was like my favorite one. I really? love peanuts in back in the day. I think it's okay. I just think it's just it's just peanut. Like there's not a lot. It's of just, just a lot of peanuts. There's a lot of peanuts. <laughs> I would be happily put. I would happily put it in B tier. Like I would not complain about a Baby Ruth, but I've never purchased a Baby Ruth on my own. You know what I mean? Okay. Fair. Yeah. Fair. All right, uh, Butterfinger. Butter that's an S tier, that's guys. A, that's a good... S that's an S, S tier. tier. I'll give it an A. I give it an A. 
for me, that's an S tier candy, man. I love Butterfinger. You know what? I my... love the, the I love his warrants the dying finger in the inside, dude. <laughs> okay, you know what my it's issue like with Butterfingers are? To it. My issue with Butterfingers is like it's covered in chocolate. So like I'm expecting a little bit of chocolate, but like it, there's like no chocolate. It's like a very, a very thin, thin layer. layer. Bro, I'm all yeah. about count. the I'm all about the inside flaky stuff, dude. That's that's me. <sighs> but it's such a lie. You know what I mean? I go in with like chocolate <laughs> expectation, then no, you get dead finger if, instead. If I made you a butterfinger, or if you got a butterfinger with like three x the chocolate on the outside, oh shit! Be, like, I'd be down. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Just double dip that. <laughs> oh, let's leave chocolate. it at it. Let's leave it at it. Okay, we'll leave it at A. Candy corn. F. Oh. F. F candy corn. It depends corn, on dude. the brand. It yeah. Depends on the brand. No, candy corn tastes like wax, dude. It's ass. Mm, I wouldn't put it in D. I've never though. liked candy corn. I've really? I like it C. when. I can't think. I can't think of anything. I. You know what? I'd put it in F too. I'm not gonna lie. Really. Dang. I can't Boy, think. Anita, do you feel strongly that you like it? No. I just feel like it's not that bad. <laughs> Alright, if someone gave you an Almond Joy and a can and some candy corn, which one are you eating? Candy corn. Really? I'm eating the Almond Joy. <laughs> I'm taking candy corn. I guess it's D tier then. Okay. Crunch. Crunch. F tier. Oh, You're S. Oh, shit. S? Wait, I fucked it up. Uh, S? It was, wait, sorry. Was 100 grand B tier or C tier? It was in C. C? C. Okay. C -C. Yeah, Crunch is S tier. F that guys. What? Really? Really? It's a classic. Crunch for, crunch for me is just like run of the mill, a little bit above average candy. You know what it really? does? It doesn't fuck anything up and it's very solid. Good texture, good brittle. Yes. Good crunch. Do you, do you guys also think like the Hershey's Crackle is S tier then? Crunch you is better. Red one? Crunch is better. Hershey's Crackle? Crunch you is better. I know how Hershey has some of those like, um, those like bootleg ones, I don't know how to say, Mr. Good Bar with the peanuts, you know, and they got the crackle, oh, which is pretty yeah, much I just like a crunch those. bar. You like crackle like too? Yes. <laughs> okay. So you like, like the, the ones? You like the ones with the crispy rice, but yes. Okay. Okay, but like I feel like crunch is better than crackle. You talking about Wait, these? You guys really would put crunch above Butterfinger? Oh, easily. Y'all are tripping. I'll easily. let you guys keep it though. There. God damn. <laughs> Anita, do you want to put it in eight here? No, no, no. No, I want S. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> Y'all can have my crunch. You got this. All right, dots. You trade. Dots is A oh. here, dude. <gasps> really? For for the non really chocolates, I love dots. I dude, Whoa. something about getting the little box. You know, it felt like special to me, man. You get the little box. Hmm. I mean, you know, I've never hated dots. I love dots. I don't hate it either. I don't hate I it either. It was middle of the road. Seat. I love dots. Yeah, because, same. Okay, so here's the thing. I think gummy bears are too chewy, right? Like they're very <laughs> some 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 gummy bears. I think are really chewy for okay. no reason. Dots was never too chewy. That's why I liked it. If anything, it's a little too not chewy. It's a little gummier. You know what I mean? It like it like it's still it's more sticky than a than a gummy bear. Sticky is the word. Yes. Yeah, sticky. Dot, got, dots are definitely sticky. Okay, I mean, I, I wouldn't complain about maybe B or A tier. Okay, I'll go B. You, B? you okay with B, Anita? Yes. Okay, I'll love me some dots. All right, we got fun a dip. fun dip. What's fun dip? I didn't like fun dip, dude. Never had fun I'm dip. Not a, fun dip was the sour powder that you dip that white stick in. Wait, I oh. like that. Oh. Yeah, no, I like yes, this. Yes. I used to like this. Like yeah, this. yeah. Bro, I had stupid friends growing up. Who would take like I know exactly and fuck uh. up and snort it and pretend it was cocaine? Yeah, the same, dude. Yeah. <laughs> at, at least you used the straw. <laughs> I just <laughs> no, the, dude. Back me, we were rolling up dollar bills. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, <laughs> what the heck? Like pretending it was real that? shit. No, no, no. What we would do is we would uh, open up the packet, put the powder in the desk, roll up the packet, <laughs> yeah, and just use that. It up. Here's the problem with fun dip. Just. Like I was always a I'm a, I'm a I'm a germaphobe I'm a clean freak a little bit. Oh yeah. I just found the very unhygienic. See, <laughs> <laughs> this guy doing it. <laughs> I just found it very unhygienic to be licking the stick, putting it in there, and then licking it again, putting it back in over and over again. But it's I just, just you. Yeah, it's just you eat the stick. It's just end. your saliva. It's kind of weird to me. It is kind of weird. It tastes good though. It tasted good though. I'll give it that. 
Uh, I'll go A tier. It? It, this is this is a high tier candy though. When you got this, you were like, yes. oh shit, we got some fun. No, fun dip is expensive, guys. Like fun dip, fun dip is the superior cousin to Pixie Sticks for sure. Hundred percent, A tier. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. So uh, for our listeners at home who are not based in the US, fun dip is essentially sour powder, and it comes with this like candy stick that you lick and then you dip it in it so it sticks, and then you repeat that process. And the stick is edible. So, uh, it's not supposed to be snortable, is what I'm hearing. No, okay. not at all. <laughs> Why is there no pictures of anyone actually eating fun? Yeah, except there's a what person the snorting the thing. <laughs> how about you Google uh, fun dip, how to, how to eat or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that girl, that girl, ASMR. Go up, go up. I'm that not going to watch an closest. ASMR video well, of somebody eating fun dip. That's the video of what it looks like. It. Yeah. Okay. You dip it and then, yeah. Yeah, all right, keep going. All right, fun well, dips, fun dips a high tier. Fun dip a tier. Mhm. Mm all right, horrible gold bears. Uh, hey. S S tier. I don't like okay. gummy bears, so I'll let you guys vote. Really? <gasps> okay. Well, do your you, opinion do you still like matters. At all? I only Dark? like you know how they got the Haribo the pineapple flavor. What? Uh, That's a thing. Oh. Yeah, I like the pineapple flavor. Horrible pineapple. Yeah. Never had it. Bears, but they're pineapple. Interesting. Oh, all of them are pineapple. All pineapple. Oh. Wow. That's pretty good. Um, I get it though that it's the gold standard of gummies, so you could put it in wherever you want. Guys. Har Haribo was my first candy. Bro, I love the peach rings more though. What's peach what's, rings are number one in my peach heart. Peach rings. What's so up? much better. Peach rings? rings. How do I spell peach, peach rings? ring? You've never had a peach ring. How the have you not had a peach ring? How do I spell pe peach ring? Peach. Like a peach, peach. like oh. no fruit. Peach That's ring. Yeah. Oh, I mean these are all right. Yeah. No, but see, there's some superior ones. The what is it? Trolley. What are they? They're okay. No, is it the trolley ones? It might be the trolley ones. Yeah, because the ones that have like the peach on one side and then the yellow on the back. Ah, Those I see are you. Yeah, trolley. Yeah, yeah. I see you. Oh no. Hey, my number my my number one gummy though is Swedish fish. I've always liked that. What? Really uh, Swedish, Swedish fish, fish is like is my favorite non-chocolate candy. No, I'm like, yeah. Swedish yeah. fish gets all over your teeth. It's not very pleasant. It's the no, best. Bro, I'm going, to sh I'm going to the grocery store tomorrow. I'm going to buy me some Swedish fish now. There are pictures of me, very young, in Germany, gobbling up Haribo gold bears. Like that, there's- In like Lederhosen. In Lederhosen, right? <laughs> yeah. Later, what? Later. Watching Bayern Munich. You're in later You're hosen. Wearing, you have a pretzel yeah. in one hand. Yeah, no. and have Haribo <laughs> gummy bears in the other. Shout out to you're Kim. Like, and then you're like, wunderbar, wunderbar. <laughs> <laughs> no, in, uh, in Frankfurt. That's where I used to live. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eintracht Frankfurt. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. A tier? A tier? No, it's a legendary candy, right? Yes. It, it is legendary. Those are like, those are, that's all legendary. Even though I don't like them, it's a legendary. S tier. S tier. I appreciate it. Heath, Heath, do you like caramel? That's that's what you're asking yourself, right? But Heath does too much right. caramel. No, it's okay. <laughs> okay, what's here? B? I would give it a C. C? Oh, no, no, it's not caramel. This is the toffee one. The toffee one, right? Toffee? It's toffee. I think I Yo, don't have enough. Here's how unpopular Heath is. I Google it and I get pictures of fields, not the candy. And then I get Heath Ledger. Think, think, think of caramel as more like the, I mean, Heath bars is like the inside is more like the dried caramel. Oh, uh, I don't like these. The toffee. Yeah, they're not good. Um, yeah, I don't like these. Um, so I, I would put it in C. It's in the it. mid. It's mid. Mid, yeah. mid, 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 mid. All right. Hershey, Hershey's okay. chocolate bars. I know that there are people outside the U.S. who say that Hershey's tastes like puke. That's a very common thing. Really? Yeah. Because there's Whoa. certain chemicals that... Americans are very used to eating in our Hershey bar that other countries um like that tastes like puke to other people. I understand this. I've um, never well, I love my America. I love my chemicals. It's an A tier. It's a classic. You <laughs> like Hershey's is like you never be pissed. You got you got chocolate, you know? You got straight chocolate. What's there to be pissed about? Honestly, I I don't know. Call out my shit if you want to. These Europeans, I feel like they're overreacting a little bit. Korean people don't complain about Hershey tasting like, tasting like chemicals. Just putting that out there. I don't know. All right, keep going, keep going. All right, uh, we got hot tamales. 
I I've ate this like twice and I didn't like it. I've never had it. Yeah. I don't like I don't spicy like stuff. Flavor. Oh, is I it bad? Is it bad? I, yeah, I don't like it. I will put it in F. Oh, All right, I agree. All right, F, F because it has, it's one of those candies that has like a, if I remember correctly, like a more cinnamony. Oh, I hate those. Yeah, oh, fuck I hate that. Cinnamon, dude. Spicy cinnamon. Right. What's the Korean cinnamon tea? Cinnamon so, tea. Sawa cha. Sawa cha. Ah, I hate that shit too, dude. I mean, you don't drink sangata because you like it. You drink it because you're sick and you need to no, get I better. No, I eat it because some older person that I'm visiting. Oh no, not that one. Oh, is, not that, is that the one? Is it that one? I don't remember. The, uh, do you do you get it warm or do you get it cold? Cause cold is different. Cold is um. Oh no, <sighs> I was pronouncing the wrong one. Uh, Sujonggua. Sujonggua. I hate that too, dude. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not big on Sujonggua either. I can't, dude. Yeah. Too much. It's too cinnamony and gingery and. More of a shikhe kind of guy. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, that's my guy. That's my guy. Put, put your rice in the water. All right. Um. Moving on. Jelly beans. Jelly bellies. What is S tier, dude? Mm. I love me some jelly bellies. Oh, dude, my I family, jelly bellies. we buy the giant tong from um, Costco and like uh. all the time. Uh, I don't know. I don't like their texture, I'll be honest. You don't like jelly beans? I mean, how do you feel about jelly beans? I feel like they're okay, but I don't like all of the flavors. Yeah. That's Any of the ones that are brown, black, or red, you gotta, you gotta. Yeah. Avoid. Oh my gosh, the licorice tasting <laughs> ones. The licorice I ones can't. Just, my dad eats all likes all the shitty flavors, so it works perfectly. <laughs> oh god. At the end, we give him a container. It's probably cinnamon and licorice, and that's all that's left. And he eats all of them. Uh, it. it works yeah. out, I guess. Yeah. It works out in my house. I think I like uh, green apple. I like watermelon lemon. Watermelon is delicious. Yes. Watermelon. Watermelon is great. Okay, watermelon. I'll take. Well, well, Popcorn back when they had it was really good in there. Okay, oh, even there butter popcorn a, I don't a, like. It was a peanut butter flavor which was good. Um, yeah. I don't know. I maybe. I. Uh, you know what? I recognize I'm in the minority here. A tier. It's a, it's a classic. We'll leave it there. A? We'll leave it there. It's not really a, a Halloween B? candy per se. I wouldn't. That's say. true. It's more like an Easter thing. Um, it's more of a Harry Potter thing in my head now. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, moving on. We got Jolly Ranchers. A. For Halloween though. For Halloween I though. Think, I think yeah. it's a. I think it's like good in general. But if someone, just, if I just got a bunch of Jolly Ranchers for Halloween, I'd be kind of pissed. Jolly Ranchers mm -hmm. is my favorite candy when I go to the doctors as a kid. Wait, your doctor gives Jolly Ranchers? Like in the I reception, like the reception area. <gasps> Mine just gave out lollipops. Yeah. Yeah. Or like Tootsie Pops. Oh, Tootsie Eye. Oh, Dude, I eat way too many of those. All right. Suck. We'll talk about Tussies in a minute. Jolly Ranchers. Uh, uh, Halloween. This is for Halloween. Yeah, candy. this is Halloween. That's an A. That's an A. No, it's a C, dude. It's a C. Warren, imagine, imagine you come back home and you're like, and, and your mom's like, hey, Warren, what kind of candy did you get? You dump out your candy and it's half Jolly Ranchers. You'd be like, I just got F. Amazing. I'm happy. No. What? Every Jolly Rancher I get, it's going straight back into the bag. Jolly Ranchers is the candy you got a bowl of or you have some in your car on the drive, right? That's yeah. what It ain't I, for Halloween. I specifically buy Jolly Ranchers. Dang. Really? You like it that much? I made, I made Jolly Rancher vodka during college. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was very sweet. It was, the, it was the, the, the answer at the end. You fucked up you a lot of people. You, you had to cut it with other things because it was dangerous. Yeah. Um. Anita, what, what do you think? It's an A. Warren I and I think a. it's ass. Let's put it at a B or a C then. It sounds like a B is an average if Anita wants to like put a, it on a. Like a. Yeah. We got Hershey Kisses. Okay. Are these like the fancy Japanese ones with all the fun flavors? That no. They got these days? No, so no, the no. Peppermint ones they have during, how, during Christmas? No, these are just standard ass. Just normal just, ass kisses. You, you got to just put it exactly where the Hershey bar is. It's the same, the same shit. shit. Yeah, it's the same Although, shit. Although... Although it's more of a pain in the ass to eat than a, than a Hershey's. Yeah, that's true. It's just more annoying. I associate these more with like Christmas for some reason. Maybe they because got, they have. Yo, have y'all had the peppermint ones for Christmas? What? Yeah, they have that's a more. Thing. It's good. It's good. During Christmas season. Um. I, I still think that we got to leave it near the Hershey bar. Yeah, it's yeah. the same shit. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's just a different shape. All right, everybody. <laughs> Do y'all like Kit Kats or no? Kit Kato S tier. Yes. S tier. Yes. I'll, I'll put it in A for me. What? 
You'd put Butterfinger in A tier, but Kit Kat in A tier too? No, I would put Kit Kat in A because I think Twix is better. You like Twix? Oh, <laughs> shit. Wait, no, that's a good point. Right? But no. Isn't Twix better? I think Kit Kat is better. Okay, yes, but like then I would have to push everything off from A into B. Okay, then leave it up there. It's a, it's, it's one of the classic ones. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break <laughs> me off of a piece of, piece of that Kit Kat bar. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it at S. Keep going. I don't know what you just did. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. That's the a Anita, jingle. you know, right? The theme song. I think I've right? seen it. Yeah, I think I've heard and it. That was from the 90s, oh, I guess. Oh, man. Oh, the only thing I know is share your love, Kit Kat. It's the Korean oh, one. The um, <laughs> all right. Oh, so these are like uh, assorted random gummies, you know? No, no, these like, are we'll SpongeBob Krabby Patty SpongeBob jellies. SpongeBob one. Yeah. That's an S. Is that's this like, S. is this literally a thing these days? It like, was, it was. Had, growing up, it we didn't like, have this. We didn't have this. Really? No. I saw this so much in Halloween. Same. It was uh -oh. like a rare item, S tier. We never had this, dear me. <gasps> really? It's all gummy. Is it good? You would like this. You would yes. like this. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go would. buy that tomorrow too. You're not gonna find it. That's the issue. Fun. They're super rare. It's good though. I, I liked it. I honestly think. Okay, honestly, if I'm honest with myself, I think I only liked it because of its rare value. Mm. I think it tasted good though. I actually don't remember. It was remember. rare and it was good. All right, Anita, you think it's S tier? Yes. Okay, we'll go with Anita's opinion here. All right, <laughs> we have. Lifesaver. Two types of lifesaver. F these for Halloween candy, y'all. This is what? ass. Yeah, these are. Life these are not Halloween these candies. Are these are the gummies, right? Oh, is that the gummy ones? No, yeah, it says hard candy. Good. Oh, this is okay. Uh, no, let's do it. Let's good. do it so that the, the that one is the gummies and the other ones the hard ones. For the gummies, this is hard, but whatever. Okay. okay. I don't think we have it on the list. Let's assume these are the gummy ones, mm -hmm. and they come in that little clear like square, right, Anita? Those ones? Yeah. Okay, that one is an A. Those are good. Lifesaver gummies is an A. Oh, well, these are good. Yeah, I like these too. I, no, no, a, no. a tier. Yeah. Yeah. That one's an A. I don't think you had the right pictures, but that one's oh. an A. Gummy rings. You should Gummy rings. Yeah, no, yeah, these. Yeah, those yeah are I know what these are. Those yeah. Are oh, those are an A. These are great. These I'll are great. Yeah, they're amazing. The, the hard ones? F. F. Dude. F. Especially F. the mint ones. It's Fuck off. Mint. It's just the mint. Yeah. F. Uh, oh, we got those dum dum can those lollipops, the dum dum. C. I think it depends a on the flavor. It, it depends on the flavor. Very mm. flavor dependent. Weren't these the ones where you collect enough wrappers, you can send them in for something, and then you get like a little toy or some shit? I don't know, but I remember there was that mystery mm. flavor one, and I had no clue what the f it was the whole time. <laughs> it was just you weird remember that, bits right, of sugar. Yeah. Like yeah. Flavor. It was like yeah. purple colored. Okay, peanut M and M's. Dude, I love peanut M&M's. Uh, peanut M&M's are fucking S tier. Yeah, I love peanut M&M's. S tier. It sits in front of everything. Let's be honest here. It's so good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, I, I, you know, <laughs> okay, I love these the peanut M&M's. <laughs> I have never met a single person who complains about M&M &M peanuts. Except for people with peanut I allergies. Really? Yes. Hey, <laughs> it makes regular M&M's into the most meh thing ever. Right? This is true. Shit. Mm. Now I want some peanut M&M's. Regular, regular M&M's is like B. You're more happy than if you got a Heath or a 100 gram. But you're like, man, I really wish these were peanut ones. Also, there is a lot of value prop in the fact that you're eating a larger M&M. It just looks better. It's, it's bigger. Better. Dude, when you get the handful of the peanut M&M's, you're like, oh boy. Like, like, let's go. Holy shit, they're the size of my fucking thumb. I'm down. You know what I mean? Like, it's great. <laughs> When you eat the the regular ones, you're just getting a little little discs, and you're like, eh. it's, uh, A tier, A tier, B, 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 fine, B, B. I mean, where would you put it? Where would you put it? A. And where would you put peanut? Don't you dare say A. <laughs> I would, I might put them in B. Oh my! What? 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 <laughs> what? You mad? Like I, I don't seek out the peanut M and M. Oh, you're crazy. You crazy. Crazy. Everyone in the comments tell Anita how crazy she is for not you liking Moko peanut M&M. Anita. You. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Mike Ike. Mike and Ike. They always suck. F. F. I've never F. liked Mike and Ike's. 
Oh, F. Uh, Milk Duds. D? Ooh. I no. wasn't a big fan of these. No, I don't no, either. They're caramels. They're caramel. Oh, wait. It's not Mike Duds. It's Milk Duds. See, that's how much I Ooh, don't like them. So I always get confused Milk Duds and Whoppers. No, 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 milk duds are like caramel. Oh, it's the caramel one? Look up a Whopper yeah. now. Look up Whopper candy, Warren. Whopper are like wafery. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah, no. these are kind of no. chalky. Milk, milk duds were better. Milk duds were better. Wait, Wait no. Weren't these kind of crunchy? Yeah. Yo, they these are like, fucking lit. Get out. No, they have like a weird crumbly, right? Which is what I like. That's what you eat no, this I for. Hate that. I hate that. I hate that. What? What? No, okay. While we're talking about Whoppers, Whoppers, at least B tier. If you're going to put that B, you got to put the other one in B. Yeah. Where's Where'd you put Milk Duds? Yeah. Both B tier? I think... So, yes, what were both. you thinking? Which one did you... What did you think this was at the beginning, Warren? When you agreed that it's shitty? The one with the fucking caramels in it. I knew what it was. Wait, you... Oh, you, you don't like Milk Duds? No. I thought Milk Duds are fine. <laughs> I'm sorry to break your heart. Okay. I think they're fine. I think they're fine. What else do we got? Milky Way. It's the the Ooh. goddamn same as eating the, the three, three musketeers. musketeers. This is the same it's shit. The same shit. It just has a little more stuff in it. It's called the same like, shit. Wait, it has peanuts, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got like yeah, half a peanut in it. Peanuts. <laughs> like half a fucking it's peanut. The, it's the same <laughs> shit. It's the same shit. <laughs> It's like fraternal twins. They're a little bit different. It's the same shit. Yeah, one of the little <laughs> mole on the right ear. Like, you know what I mean? Like, do you like nerds? Do you like the box of nerds, guys? <laughs> they're, How'd you feel they're okay. Yes. Yeah, I like fine. those. Yeah. Uh, a. A? a? Doug, what do you? No. No. Yeah, B, B. Well, though, nerds was a high priority item, though, back in the day. I'll give it that, right? Oh, wait, these people, are the nerds. Okay. People loved nerds, man. Wait, no, they nerds were, like, were Valentine's Day's candy for me. What? No, it's just a candy. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's because it's pink, but like people used to trade these in Valentine's Day. No, the regular nerds are like not just pink. Yeah, like that. It's pink and purple. Yeah. For the love of nerds. Nerd look okay, I might be tripping. I don't know. Um anyways, regardless, I don't know. I I think they're okay. They were high priority, I remember. Really? I think I said A, didn't I? See, right, yeah. It's an A. It's an A. All right, it's fine. Prio. It was a form of currency. I'm not gonna lie. All right. <laughs> oh, the, the freaking roll gold pretzels going F. F. Nuclear F. F. Put it in. Put it in. Never had it, dude. Can I? Can I, can I read this? That's the house you come back and you throw eggs at after you're done with the day. Wait, what? Okay, oh, I yeah. wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. But. Bro, especially when they they're I, like. Here's one thing. When they give you the little bags of roll golds is one thing. But when they troll you and give you the little bags of the Halloween themed pretzels, oh, the fuck packaging uh. is Halloween themed. They made an active decision to give you those. Dude. Yes. Right? <laughs> That's even worse. F that. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's move on. Reese's Pieces. Or sorry, Reese's in general. Okay. Reese's. Reese's is S tier. A. S tier. But now that I've gotten older, I think they're salty. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you want. Redeeming quality. You know what I mean, though, right? It's salty as shit, dude. Reese's. Okay, it's like, also it, like growing up, that was my favorite. But these days, it's so salty. It's also very sweet, like it's sweet and salty at the same time. Yeah. And we're not eating a Chinese food out. chicken or something. <laughs> like <laughs> it's. It's see like you know how when you buy it you get like two in a packet or three in a packet or four dude you get the strip I, I don't, I'm happy with just one yeah, <laughs> yeah that's how I feel these days <laughs> but growing up this was my favorite so S S oh S it's a classic what? but Anita do you like the pieces more than the Reese's I used to back in the day Reese's pieces is just uh, like M Ms I mean they taste the same don't they no what they don't I don't think I've ever had the pieces then. No, Reese's Pieces is, uh, it's got, it's basically peanut flavored M&M's. Oh, no. Sorry, yeah, peanut it's butter flavored M&M's. Peanut, peanut, peanut butter flavored M&M's. I mean, it's okay. I'd play, maybe place it at eight tier. Yeah, yeah, the classic was Yeah. Better. It's like, if I'm going to eat Reese's Pieces, why not just eat M&M almonds and Reese's at the same time? M&M almonds? Not regular m and peanut M&M's? Sorry, peanut M&M's is what I meant. Sorry, yeah. I was about to say, or what, what are you doing here? <laughs> All right. Hop Rocks? All is hype, no substance, dude. 
pop rocks. No, ring pops. I didn't. Oh, ring pop. That was a classic. Dude, ring pops. That's, a, that's an S. Dude, that is like straight up ice as a kid. Yeah, yeah it was. It yeah. Was. An accessory. Did y'all have, have blow pops too growing up? What? What's a blow pop? Is it, does it look like a Tootsie Pop? Little pop. Oh. Those were the. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, there's two. More. I had that one, and then we had one that like you pushed it up. It was in a canister. I don't what? Blow, blow pops was the was the lollipops with the gummy. I mean, with gum in oh, it. Yes, oh. Yes, yes, yes. I think I've had them a couple times. Oh yeah, Google push pop. All right, oh, this was popular pop. in the '90s and early 2000s. Oh. Um, I know yeah, these. Yeah. Remember this guy? You remember this guy? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> These were the candies my mom wouldn't let me eat. Fair. <laughs> she was like, really just sugar. something about it looks really fucked up. Like, you're, don't, you're not allowed. Like, I'm sorry. Like, my Asian mom was like, no, we're not having this in the household. Yeah, but this was very popular. Now, why do they put faces on it now? What the F? Like, why are there faces? Because it's a <laughs> there, kid's there was not candy. faces in the 90s. What happened? Oh, uh, man. Um, okay. going, going back. All right. Uh, we're at Rolos. Oh, shit. Rolos are great. Are they good? Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it tastes like. I think I actually had one like yeah, pretty caramel. recently. Yeah, it's the one with caramel oh, those inside. Are good. These are great. Those, those are good. good. Yeah. Those are good. And yeah, it's a good ratio between chocolate and caramel. Hey, these are a little too fancy for my suburban ass, you know? They were kind of expensive. It's kind of fancy. All right. Um, what, 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 you know, you know, if you go to a house and they give you like Dove chocolate, you're like, yo, yo, <laughs> you're like, yo, are they all rich? <laughs> go swap out your costume because well, you gotta come back. Or, like. or, or the house where they give you the full bars, the king size. Oh shit! You're like, yeah. Yes. Um, right. Rolo a, a tier, I think. A tier. It doesn't have the cultural relevance. I think is the issue. Nah, no. I would go lower. I don't think it's for Halloween. Like, who's who's looking for Rolos? Let's be honest here. I'd be happily surprised. I'd be happy to surprise. Happy. I know you'd be happy, but like you ain't expecting no Rolos. Yo, even better. It's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is a weird person is buying Rolos. Let's let's be honest. Right? That's not a <laughs> that's not a standard, right? That's not a standard. no. It's not. Don't get me wrong. It's not a standard. That's but a like weird person is decided it, to give kids Rolos. Dude, if it happens, I'm going you to put trust, holes in house, my bed dude. sheets. You can't trust what? that house. They might be a little shady. <laughs> dude. Yeah, Rolos. All right, Skittles. Skills are good. I, th I think A tier. They're good. A tier. A tier. A -tier. A -tier. A -tier. It's a yeah. classic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Smarties? Smarties. Oh, shit. Smarties used to be my shit. No, dude. I I hated these. Dude, I used to crush these up and snort them, too. No, F what? these. Dude. I used to crush these up and put I them in Sprite. Smarties. Smarties cannot go in S tier. S tier. Dude, no, no way. No, not in S. S, like S for Smarty. No, you kidding? No, no. A Smarties is a D. What? <gasps> I would give it a C. It's S. Smarties are ass. What? No, what? See, they're a little chalky. They're little medicine-like discs. They're ass. You know what I used to do? I used to pick up a single Smartie and like fucking gnaw on it with my fucking teeth to maximize oh, the amount of time. Painful. No. How would you do that? I wanted to maximize my time spent with these why Smarties. Couldn't, why couldn't you just eat pixie sticks? It's the same shit, just in like dust form. I didn't. I wasn't lucky enough. We didn't have them. <laughs> Wait, there's no way they're asked. All right, B tier. B. 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 All right, C. fine. C. Fine. This Smarties okay, are the filler for the non chocolate ones. This true. is actually true. Yeah. Mm. That's why. All right, Snickers. Snickers. Hey, you trying to have a meal, my guy? <laughs> uh, how much is a calorie for Snickers? Snickers, the whole, the whole marketing campaign that you could eat it for a meal is complete bullshit. Let's be honest here. <laughs> Let's be honest. Also, the newer marketing campaign where like, oh, are you angry? Take a, take a Snickers. Right. Yeah, what the F is what that? The, I don't get that. Um, some, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's just the an above average candy bar, right? It's okay. I mean, I'd even put it in B. Oh, well, can I talk? Yeah, can I talk about some candies that did not make this list that but should get honorable mention? Uh, sure. Well, yeah, we have ten warheads. more. But warheads. Do y'all not Do know like about those? warheads? I don't like them, but it was a classic of the the era I was in. These were the most popular okay, yes. things ever. These like jawbreaker type. And then they had another type mm -hmm. that like fizzed back in the day. Oh. Type type warheads fizz. 
Oh, there was a fizzy center one too. Not a. Oh. Well, I don't even remember. Oh, that looks really sour. I think I've sour. had these. No, those are the super. Those are the mega sours. You don't want them, man. It's a bad time. <laughs> it's painful. Yeah, it's painful. But Warheads was like super popular when I was growing up. I think I think I might have had these. I'm not too sure. Okay. Yeah, this is a real '90s thing. Oh. For sure. Um. All right, let's keep going. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. That's like S. S or A. S tier. Oh, S. S tier. This is my favorite sour candy. The, wa the watermelon ones are the best. That's good, too. I'll give you that. Those just mm. gummy watermelons in general are pretty good. Like, I don't Amazing. know why. Yeah. It works pretty good. That watermelon flavor with some sourness just works. Oh, it works. All right. Uh, moving on. We got Starbursts. Overrated. Ooh. The pink ones are the best. Pink star. I always liked the orange ones growing up. Re I would give them to you because I don't like orange. Well, I, yeah, and I would give you all my pink ones because I want the orange. There you go. <laughs> Both are okay. It's the same thing. Like, even today, yeah, yeah. when I, let's say I'm a little bit dehydrated and I need to get a Powerade or a Gatorade, I always eat, like, or I always drink orange or yellow. I just like the citrus ones. Really? Yeah. I actively I just like avoid. Citrus. <laughs> I just like citrus. <laughs> I feel like if I'm going to eat a Starburst, I'm going to eat a Haichu. All right, oh, Haichu is way better. I choose the cool Asian cousin of the, the, <laughs> of the Starburst. Let's be honest. <laughs> I've never thought of it that way. Um, I don't know. Starburst, I think they're only successful because of a successful marketing Haichu campaign. Haichu has more flavor. I mean, yeah. That's, that's, just that's mm. juicier, too. They're juicy. They're juicy. <laughs> All right. Uh, I put Starburst in C. I did that on purpose. That's fair. That's a filler. It's a filler. It's a filler. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's yeah. just not that good. Swedish fish, dude. That's like my favorite non. I'll a, put it yeah, in A. A. Really? Oh, I was gonna yeah. put it in S. It goes in. A. It honestly okay. for Halloween goes in S, right? For the for Halloween yeah. you get Swedish yeah. fish, my guy. Yeah, they, they they used to give out like the tiny little the mini bags. But yeah, but even those tiny bags are like filled because these are fucking big. Like, let's be honest yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I love Swedish fish. Like five fish in there, maybe. No, these bags what? are no. good back in there. Yeah. Really? They have like 20, 30 in the little bag. Oh, has inflation ruined our small bags of Swedish probably, fish as well? Probably has ruined oh, it. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got? All right, we got the... Uh, I don't know what that is, skip it. The Tootsie toothbrush. Roll. Tootsie Roll is ass. Tootsie Roll, I think, is all right. D. D. Yeah, it's like a D. Yeah. It's one of the filler ones, chocolate. and it doesn't know if it wants to be gummy or chocolate. It's like, what am I? It's I'm an abomin- You're an abomination. That is what you are. Oh, dang. <laughs> abomination. You're an abomination. Um, Go back in the closet. Trolley, uh, trolleys. Is this the, wor the worms? Uh, yes, the crawlers. Oh, oh the gummy S. worms? Uh, the, ones that, the ones that had the sour on them, you know? Uh, were pretty uh, good. Yes. I like the one the sours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them. Yeah. I, I, I A tier. It's A. It's, it's A. a. It's not a. It's, it's okay. not a Sour Patch Kids level. I need to look at this light up. But 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 if there was a currency, it would be an S tier currency. Very rare. That's true. Rare. Yeah. Right. Like this. Uh, you got Twix. S tier, easy peasy, for me. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Bro. You know how they have the marketing campaign, Left Twix, Right Twix, right? Is that still right. relevant? Yeah. Dude, the Left Twix tastes so much better each time. What? I, no, I, it's I, the same. It's the same shit. No, it's not the same. You're just... The S, you guys are just fake news list readers here, guys. You know? You're just fake <laughs> news. The left ones taste better, guys. Doug, I Doug, swear. Doug. I understand that we have just a... Flip it around. It's the I understand same we have a podcast and he needs to say some bullshit. The right ones are superior. You right? can't just pull right bullshit ones? out of your ass to say funny shit. You, <laughs> that's just bullshit. You can't just say that. That's just the, the same thing. Ones, the left ones are better. You are clearly exaggerating for the sake no, of the no, show. No, no, no. You can't do that. <laughs> this, this commercial told me they're totally different. We told the audience we'd be honest with ourselves. <laughs> they got a left Twix factory and a right Twix factory. That's what they showed me on the TV growing up. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> y'all 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 are fake newser. Hello. Um I'd like to dedicate this part of the podcast to Doug's mother. Um <laughs> What? She's listening by the way. Uh, are you aware that Doug prefers left Kit Kats, sorry, left Twixes or the right Twixes? She knows, dude. I've been doing this joke for 15 years, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, keep going. All right. Okay. Uh Twizzlers. S F 
Insult. F. Insult. Or, or, yeah. Insult. insult. Oh, fuck that. Insult. It's an insult. It's what go put that fruit there too, dude. Asparagus. Who wants to put up asparagus anywhere above an insult? That goes there. <laughs> Leave it there. All right. Welch's Welch's gummies. Why didn't you buy better gummies, dude? Uh, <laughs> like, no, <those laughs> you know good. what I mean. Those no, they're really all good. Okay, honestly, I Welch's gummies know. remind me too much of like cafeteria food and like the stuff that I used Welch's to bring to gummies? lunch. Welch's gummies. Is, is someone's mom who's like, let's give them healthy candy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So sweet. That's, I mean, that's you're who... being tricked because it's still good and it's candy. And it's like someone, the mom bought like a huge like 64 Welch's pack off of Costco. Is what your mom puts in as the snack with your peanut butter and jelly sandwich in your lunchbox. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's like, okay. It, it, and it's it good. Yeah, but it's okay then, but it's not okay on Halloween. No. It's not a D. All right, it's fine. C. It's a C. C. Like I need a disrespect. We can't get everything we want. I would put Smarty the Nest tier. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I s hey, 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 no, no. <laughs> crazy. See, crazy. He doesn't know how this works. <laughs> All right. You have the what is this? York? Wait, wait. For people oh. who don't know, Welch's jellies, it's literally like the most generic as gummies you can possibly buy. You know? I like them. I actively buy them. No, not the. <laughs> the real the juice. Just gummies, gummies. Welch gummies. Sorry. Okay, here we yeah, go. It's just Welch's mid. It's like the most generic gummies. See, yeah. He's great. Look at these people lying to you. Excellent source of vitamin A, C, and E. Excellent source <laughs> of goddamn diabetes, good. my guys. Come on. Halloween right. treat. I have been buying these for Halloween and for my office. People exactly. love them. They arrive quickly, very fresh. What is the... Uh, this is that person in the office who thinks exactly. everyone likes them, but everyone just talks shit behind their back. No, exactly. <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> Let's look at the one person reviews. Great if you like melted blobs. You know what? This was an issue. It was an issue. This was a real issue with... Uh, you know what? You know, Halloween candy, but was better than this? Gushers. <gasps> Gushers are great. Gushers, if there was a couple houses who would give out gushers, that would instant S tier. Yeah. Fruit gu dude, gushers were so good. I used to eat well, these like dim sums. Y'all remember uh, Fruit by the Foot too? The the thing you unroll? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Both awesome. S -tier. Those are both S tier. Yeah. Whoa. I, ha I had like so much FOMO as a child with like uh, Fruit by the Foot because like... Every you bring it to school all the time. Everyone was bringing fruit yeah, by the foot. Not me. And I got this like off-brand Costco Target fruit roll-ups. Yeah, and there was an era where on the paper there would be like comic strips too. Yeah, and mine didn't have any comic oh, strips. That shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people were like, "Oh wait, what's wrong with your fruit by fruit by foot?" And I was like, "Mine isn't really fruit by the foot. Um, it's just." It would be missing the little textures. It's like Warren, like Warren, like all the kids were were drinking Gogurt. Yogurt and then Ma and then Warren had like the generic, you know. Yeah, Something we had like that. we had the uh, what did he have? I don't know. Fruit by the foot is good. Okay. Right, for, uh, uh, what else? We got Dark peppermint. D. 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 It's too minty. This is a it's minty, minty one, right? No yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, take a good look, folks. I'm not gonna read through all of these. Uh, this is uh, our final tier, tier list. Crunch. Haribo gummy bears, Kit Kat, the SpongeBob Krabby Patty gummy, peanut M and M's, Reese's cups, uh, Ring Pop, Sour Patch Kids, Swedish Fish, and Twix is what we consider S tier Halloween candies. Boom. That's pretty good. That's good. Yeah. If you got all that, if you only got that, you'd be like, God damn, it was a good Halloween, y'all. <laughs> yeah, all right. Good variety. Yeah, I don't, you know, just. Dude, you're that. insane. Hey, 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 Warren. What, what are you doing? It's like the worst one. What? Smarties is amazing. Smarties is not S here. It's, it's S for Smarty. That's what it is. No. Smarties is the shittiest. Dude, it's like top five worst. All right, to get. Fine, G. They'll place it back where it belongs. I can't believe it's even in A. So that's, that's <laughs> okay. Ridiculous. Wait, where was it? Was it oh, B or C? It was in C. C? Okay. C. All right. You said it was the filler for the non-chocolate one. <sighs> Fucking fine. All right. Well... This has been, you know what? Honestly, I wanted to go to Target after we re uh, record this so I can go pick up some candy, but it's too late for that. Well, maybe not anymore. Uh, Target closes in eight minutes, and it's uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna get there in eight minutes. Um, 
Anyways, uh, folks, it's been a little fun. If you're one of the people who gave people uh, asparagus for uh, Halloween, I don't know what you're doing. Asparagus. Uh, this uh, asparagus photo here. Bro, people used to give out apples, and you're like, what the fuck? I've seen apples. This? I've seen apples. Yep. I've seen apples. Oranges. Yeah, it's like, ew. Tangerines. <laughs> That's why you I mean, come back later dessert, and you throw it at their house, but... right, guys? Right? Just I, I wouldn't do that. Just... That wasn't me. That's Halloween candy. Uh, what do other people think? What's their what's their other people's uh, rankings? Ask an American. What is your Halloween See, candy butter ranking? Butterfinger, dude. Butterfinger. All right. Reese's, Kit Kat, wait, wait, Twix, wait. Butterfinger, Snickers, Sour Patch Kids. Fair. Yeah. We're kind of. Whopper, yeah, Milk Duds, Skittle, Dum Dum, Swedish Fish, Twizzlers. Fair. Yeah. Mounds, Almond Joy, Milky Way, Jolly Rancher. This person has some some taste, you know. Should not be allowed, smarties. <laughs> tootsie roll, tootsie pop. I agree. Any of that other tootsie shit. <laughs> oh, this person likes this person likes smarties. I'll upvote them. Oh, the too late. This too us oh, archived. Um, Reese's, Swedish fish, twiz Ew, Twizzlers, disgusting. Okay, raisins. Who? Yeah, oh. people do oh. that. With the little lady? No, with the little lady. Oh my god. Yeah. What's it called? Raisins? Raisinettes? Yellow something? packaging? Yeah. They also had the chocolate cover raisins, which were just the Just shitty. worse. Yeah. Yeah, this this lady. Sunmade. Sunmade. Fuck you, Sunmade. I'm sure you have an audience that is not me somewhere out there. Oh my god, those little packs were so bad. Uh <laughs> All right. Well, um, that's it, folks. Right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> that's a weird ending. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs>